Uh, thank you guys for coming on board. My name is Nehemiah and uh, this is HTML5 full course. We are going to begin from the very basics to the advance of HTML, including the forms, graphics, media, APIs, HTML APIs, and uh, so forth. But uh, we are begin from the very, very basics. And uh, by the way, guys, uh, before you begin, please uh, take a minute, subscribe, like, and uh, share the video to your friends to support this channel. And uh, to the returning subscribers, I really appreciate you very much for your continuous support. And uh, guys, always please like this video so that YouTube may recommend it to other viewers uh, just like you. Now, let's begin by first understanding what is HTML. Now, HTML is not a programming language. It's just a markup language uh, for creating web pages. So uh, it's, it's the, the the HTML acronym stands for stands for uh, hypertext markup language. It is the standard markup language for creating web pages, and uh, HTML describes the structure of a web page. It consists of a series of elements, and uh, HTML tells the browser how to display the content. And uh, HTML elements label pieces of content such as this is a heading, this is a paragraph, this is a link, and so forth. Now, guys, basically, in a nutshell, if you wanna dive into the uh, uh, into the web uh, programming, you must know HTML, because even a backend developers, they must, for example, if you are Django developers, you must know, you must know how to render these um, HTML templates uh, on the front end side, and also for front end engineers, you must know how to use the uh, HTML. To, to, to display your content on the web browser. So HTML is, is a must for all, uh, you know, developers, web developers, including the front end and uh, the back end developers. You must know uh, the basics of HTML for you to be a good uh, web developer. Now, basically, this one is a, is, a, is an example of a HTML document. This one is a, a, a must structure of um, HTML document. For example, if I want to code anything on HTML, this content must be there for it to function well. Like uh, this first line of code, and this one tells uh, the browser that uh, this one is a HTML5 a document. This is uh, a line of code that begins with an exclamation, then doc type HTML. So this one is uh, find that uh, this uh, document type is a HTML, uh, HTML5. Then uh, the second line of code, this one describes the root of the document that uh, this one is a HTML uh, page. And then now uh, we have the head. Uh, we, you can see we have the head now. With the head, uh, this is where the metadata goes, including these are uh, titles and so forth. And then uh, you can see that uh, most uh, HTML tags, they have the start tag and uh, the end tag. For instance, the head tag, you can see it has the uh, closing end tag. And uh, in most cases, the difference between the start tag and uh, the end tag, the end tag has the uh, you know, first slash at the uh, just after this uh, angle bracket for less than you know, but uh, they they just the same, almost almost the same. The start tag and uh, the end tag they are almost the same, uh, despite that uh, it begins with a, a forward slash. And then now uh, we have the body. Now anything to be displayed on the browser must be in the body. So if I want to display or if I want to design anything, so those content goes in the body like uh, this where you can have the headings, the paragraphs. You can have the links, you can have, um, you know, anything, images and uh, media and such stuff. And then uh, you can see also we have the the closing tag for HTML. Perhaps let me talk about these tabs in a few. Just like I've just described there earlier, the first line of code, let me get back there, that uh, doc type HTML. Uh, basically, this one, this is, uh, this, this is the declaration that defines that uh, this one is a HTML5 document. Remember we have previous versions of html but uh, with this line of code you say that uh, this one is a html5 remember html5 by the time i'm recording this video is the latest uh, version now we have also the html uh, we have the html part here and uh, guys, as you can see we have uh, this uh, content this is the next next uh, thing on this um a symbol structure of a HTML basically document and uh, basically with this HTML uh, element uh, this one defines that this one is a uh, the root of the element of a uh, HTML page actually with this line of code with this tag you are defining that uh, this one is um the, the this one is a HTML page so you must have this uh, 
actually you must have this accord here this uh, element here and then we also have the the head i said that at the head and uh, this uh, word contains the meta information about the html ad, uh, page and then we have the title the title you remember title is, is inside the the head the head apart and that is title uh, specified and the title for the html document which is shown in the browser's title bar um for example let me just um i'll show you in a few guys when we get to the browser basically at the top there uh just at the top there you can uh, you i'll show you that so basically that's where the title will be displayed and then at the body element defines the documents body in the, the container for all the visible content such as the heading images hyperlinks tables lists and so forth now the h1 elements define the largest heading remember it goes in the hierarchy from h1 to h6 h1 defines that uh, this one is uh, the it is, it is the, uh, the 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 highest heading or uh, the large heading then uh, h6 is the least heading the smallest heading then a uh, p defines the uh, the paragraph well, i shall talk about this html as we go on and it is and then uh, guys, uh, basically um i've been talking about html element what is a what is a html element now uh an html element is defined by the by the start tag um basically some content and at the end tag remember it doesn't apply in in all um in all cases we have uh, other 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 tags that do not need the you know the start tag and at the end tag like you saw there uh, this is our first line. Uh, let me get back there. You can see this is our first line of code. This one uh, defining the tag of the HTML document. Uh, basically, the, the the version of the HTML it doesn't have what the closing tag is just not the single line of code. Uh, also, we shall talk about the images. They don't have the uh, you know the end tag. You can just use it the way it is. And also, we have uh, other codes like um the the the, the break tag and so forth so um so this the this is a complete structure for html document for example you have the tag name and then you have the content and then uh, the closing tag so remember the tag name and uh, basically the start tag and uh, the end tag they are just the same the difference is that uh, the end tag has the first slash here just after this angle bracket for less than it has the, it has the what the first slash you know now, for instance, if you are defining your uh, H1, you'll have the H1, uh, the start tag, uh, the start tag, then uh, the content, then uh, the closing tag of that H1, so that it can be displayed in the in the in the browser, and then a P, uh, this then a paragraph, and then I begin with the start tag, the content, then uh, the closing tag. Uh, and uh, guys, uh, the other thing that uh, you need to know here on HTML, HTML is not written on uh, on Word. You can you can write it on Word. So you have a specific uh, uh, you know notebooks where you write your uh, uh, HTML uh, document. Of course, you have uh, those uh, professional uh, editors like uh, Visual Studio Code. You have Sublime Text brackets, uh, Dreamweaver. We have. Uh, uh, many many other advanced uh, text editors but uh, if you are learning guys i encourage you to use uh, you know uh, to use a notepad for pc for pc and if you are using a mac just use the text edit uh, to code your uh, you know to code the html for you to understand actually the uh, you know uh, the entire codes i remember those are fancy uh, notebooks they have uh, you know auto completion stuff so you might not understand uh, every code so it's a good practice to use a notepad if you're learning uh, HTML for you to understand everything actually. Now for for me, I'm using the HD, actually the, the, the PC, the Windows operating system. So I'll search for I'll search for notepad. Let me search for a notepad, just search for notepad. And uh, if you're using a Mac operating system, you might want to search for uh you know uh, text edit if you're using mac so basically uh, this is the interface that uh, you have when you just open your notepad it is all always blank like this now um so basically i think you've opened your notebook and i guess i want us to write those uh, structures of the html document and i'll show you how it will be displayed now uh first of all i said that uh, we have the first line of code uh, begins let me try to zoom in i think uh, for you to see 
a better what I'm doing here. I'll do this, I'll zoom in further. And then I say that it begins with this angle bracket for less than. And then are followed by the exclamation. And then to define that this one is a HTML5, you just say doc type, doc type, and then a HTML in small, HTML. And then you close with this angle bracket for greater than. So with this line of code, you are telling uh, the browser that this one is a HTML5 a document. And then to define the root of a document, you use the, uh, this a HTML, HTML tag. A HTML a tag like this. So this one it will define that this one is a HTML a document, and of course it has the start tag and the end tag. So the, at the end tag is just the same as the first tag, but it has the first slash like this, then a HTML, and then the closing tag. You know the closing a tag. Actually, the closing angle bracket for greater than. So remember anything else now after this? We'll go at we'll go where we'll go inside this um. HTML. So, for example, if you want to have the the heading, the body, and all that, it must go inside this HTML uh, document because this one defines that uh, this one is a HTML uh, page. So, after that, guys, uh, we have what we have the head. How do you define the head? So, just say head, um, uh, head uh, like this, and then uh, you know, of course you can also you add the closing tag for head uh, for so sorry should be head uh, remember just the same uh, the, the only difference the only mega difference here is that um, uh, the end tag it has the first slash remember the other thing uh, the title if you want to have the meta information about the remember um, in the future when we will be handling the css and other um, of course django we shall be talking about the you know uh, the seo tools and uh, all other meta information though all those stuff will go inside the head but at uh, this juncture guys i want to show you how you can add what how you can add in the for example the title remember title also goes in the head inside the head i should be inside the head so just say for example uh, title title like this and then uh, i can say for example um this is my a title this is my title and uh, this title guys you can add in what uh, remember it has the end tag here also so just say title like this and then uh, you know a close how do you close like this let me zoom in a bit for for my content to fit well so this is the title and i uh, remember guys uh, that, that uh, this title goes inside what uh, the heading so the head is the main uh, stuff then the title is, is inside it and then under the title we also have other information that are past describe the you know responsiveness of the web page you know in different um, screen sizes and all that but at this juncture guys i want to, to discuss a very very simple html data and then now guys basically after the head after the head after the closing tag of the head we have what we have the body and that it has this uh this is the starter tag of the body like this and then uh, it has also the end tag so the end tag is just the, the same as the start tag in all html document for uh, start tag and uh, the end tag they are almost the same they are all the same is despite that despite that uh, the end tag has the first slash so just say body and then i uh, you or you do close and then i uh, like this so now anything else guys uh, of, um, that you want to be displayed on, on your browser must go here for example if uh, let me just create some space there for example if you want to have a heading for example h1 remember i said that h1 defines that this one is uh, the highest heading the largest heading so i say for example h1 and then i say i say large i say large heading large heading like this <clears throat> and then what i'll do um let me say h2 uh, h1 remember <coughs> it must be the same i said that uh, i repeat again the start tag and the end tag they are the same uh, the only difference it is that it has these uh you know <coughs> these are uh, uh, you know false slash like this now how do you save your document how do you display your, your document on the browser so guys uh, the key thing here guys to display your browser actually the html uh, data 
it must be <coughs> it must be saved in a file with an extension .html. So first of all, let me create a folder where where I'll place these uh, HTML data. So let me just open somewhere, perhaps in the desktop or wherever you want it to be. Then let me create a new folder. Perhaps let me say HTML. Uh, HTML. Um, perhaps let me just say HTML. Or uh, let it be the way it is. I don't know. I, um, I've, uh, I've created an, an extra document here. So guys, the other thing that uh, you want to do here is that ensure that uh, uh, the view, you go to the views and then ensure that uh, this file name extension is uh, checked here so that you may see the file extensions. Ensure that uh, you go to the views, to the to file explorer. I don't know on Mac is how, but uh, for Windows, just go to the views, then ensure that it has this um, check but these are check this is a file name extension is checked like this now so how do you save this document now let's return to this uh this uh, document notepad so what you do just go to the file go to the file and then uh go to the save and uh, guys, uh, you can see at the end of it you have the shortcut uh, like for windows it is a uh, control plus s to save and then uh, to save us is control shift uh, plus s so in most cases i'll be using the shortcuts for example uh, control plus A to save and then uh, to open control plus O and so and so forth uh, But so to save us is for example if I want to modify a document But uh, to save and then I uh, go to the desktop here and then I uh, guess uh, basically the reasons uh, the reason I told you that uh, you must enable that uh, Extension you can see here if you could not have uh, have added this uh, extension uh, It will be by default. It will be a txt file by default but uh, here you can just go to this um, a drop down on this, uh, this text document click on the drop down then i click on all files like this click on all files like that and then i uh, here you can say for example um let's say index index you can use another name or uh, you can even say home you can, use, you, can you can even say uh contact but uh, the key thing here it must end with this extension dot ht Actually, sorry, should be HTML. It must end with the extension .html. You can have uh, your your name, your other names uh, behind that, but uh, the key thing it must end with .html. This is the must thing. And then uh, once you are done, click on the save. So, and then you can see here the display here at the top is uh, it had a star somewhere. For example, let me try to modify a bit like this. You can see, guys, it has a star. As if you have not saved at the top here the index but if you click on control plus a or i go to the control plus s or i go to this section and then i click on save it will save but for, for now let me just click on control plus a remember i told you that i'll be using the shortcut so guys basically that document is saved how do i launch it how do i open it so uh, to open it uh, let me open the file explorer and then uh, let me get to I place the pro the document here then at the at the desktop and then it's here now just double click to open it and then it will open on your default browser and then I guess uh, remember so you can now see that uh, this uh, this is the display I remember I said that uh, the title goes here at the top of the browser I remember the title was under the the head section and that the title goes here at the top for example you can see for example when you go to name tech let me just go to name tech and show you something let me say name tech.com uh, name tech.com and then i guess you can see here at the top it is let me close this section you can see here at the top we have a home page you have home page now uh, we have home page here at the title and then um and so if for example if you want to display a home page here at the top uh, so we just, just go to the uh, to your document and then here you add the title you change here to for example home page home page then let's save and then uh you remember you must always save for uh, to to have the effect and then uh, when you refresh here uh, it will be home page you can see now it is home page and then i uh, guess uh, basically you can see the shortcut to reload i don't know if there's a shortcut but um, control plus r is to refresh control plus r is to refresh you can click on this reloader or i can just click on control plus r then it will refresh for you now when when we'll be dealing with the css 
we shall be using uh, Visual Studio Code because I think by then you'll have some basic skill on how to code. So we'll be we'll be advancing to the fancy uh, notebooks. But now, guys, okay, so basically, I, I said that we have the uh, for headings we have we have the H1. H1 is the largest. Then a H a H6 is the least. Perhaps let me just try to duplicate and I show you that. Let me just um, copy this H1. Let me uh, paste several times. Then I try to modify one. That's two, three, four. Five, six. So here I just change it to two. two uh, sorry, to two. Then um, here three, uh, four, five, and then uh, six. Six the list heading. Uh, and then uh, here also we have uh, you know two. We have uh, three. We have four. We have five. And then we have a uh, six, sorry, six, yeah. And then I uh, remember always to do it to save. Control plus S is to save. Or, uh, and then I go to and the browser and then I refresh. And then I guess you can see now H1 is the largest and then now you can see H6 is the least heading. Perhaps let me talk about uh, the HTML elements uh, in details. Uh, and I guess I remember you can always find reference here. I just go to name tag. And then I'll go to where HTML thing we have no HTML course here. Uh, we have HTML. Let me find where HTML is. Uh, or if not available here, just go to all courses, view all courses uh, in this page. And then um, uh, go uh, allow it to load. Then I will navigate to the HTML section. Uh, let's give it some time to load and then I uh, go to the HTML. Here it is HTML5. Just click on it and then uh, you'll have the reference on what I'm um, teaching here. So just be sure to check it out if you are stuck somewhere. However, because I'm teaching, let me focus on the video part. And then now, uh, guys, uh, basically, uh, let me talk about these uh, HTML elements. And as I said, the HTML element is defined by the start tag. And at the end tag, the first tag and at the end tag they are the same, despite that at the end tag it has the start uh, actually the first slash you know at the beginning of the you know of the code like this. Actually, it is after this angle bracket for less than then a first slash and then at the rest remain the uh, just like at the start tag. So um, and of course, guys, uh, we have uh, we have uh, other stuff. We have uh, the nested HTML elements, like you can see for body. Uh, basically, the, the 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 HTML can be nested. So this means, guys, that the HTML can contain other elements. Like, uh, for example, you have them. Uh, so, for example, the main one is uh, HTML. You can see everything is nested inside that HTML. For example, body and then any other stuff, the heading. So basically, this one is, a, is an example of a nested is um a, a nested HTML element is an is an element that has other elements inside it. Like a, for example, for for head, you can see we have the head, but inside the head we also have another element called title, like this. So this one is an example for a nested HTML element, and um you know uh, so guys uh, in a nutshell we have the start tag and uh, the the end tag for complete HTML element, but uh, remember never to skip the the you know the the the, the end tag. For example, if you skip this end tag for title, and then you save. I think it no, it won't work well on the browser. Let me just try to refresh and see how it will look like. And then, as you can see, it cannot be displayed well because we we skipped that a part for closing tag. Always be sure to. Uh, to add the end tag for it to dis to be displayed well, and then I guess uh, basically the other thing you realize, of course, guys, you saw even the the nini, and uh, there's a content head that disappeared when you just you know use um, a different you know code, and so always be sure to use that, and then now uh, you can see now we don't see the codes here the uh, the browser. Let me zoom zoom in the browser also for you to see better. You can see here so we no, we no longer have the, we no longer have those codes. The codes are only displayed in the in the in the back end in the these are in this um, you know notebook. But um, 
are the client side or are the, the front end side, you don't see what the, those codes. They are just used to uh, define that uh, this one is a HTML document. For example, talk about the links. It will just show you that uh, this one is a link. But um, in the reality, when you see on the on the page, uh, it won't show those uh, codes. So basically, I think uh, this is all I can say about the HTML elements. And uh, perhaps let me talk about the attributes, the HTML attributes. Now, um, basically, the HTML attribute provides additional information about HTML elements. So all HTML elements can have attributes, and attributes provide additional information about the elements. Like, um, I remember attributes are always specified with the star tag. Um, and uh, perhaps uh, they, are, they are usually come with the, uh, with the name value pairs, like, uh, for example, you can have name and then a value. Let me show you, for example, if you, are, if you have a link, let me get to the code. Uh, for example, if I want to display a, a link, a link, a link, remember the, 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 what? the element for a link or the, the tag for a link is, is, the, is, the, is the hyperlink. Uh, the anchor tag, we use this uh, A to define that uh, this one is a link. And then uh, it has what? It has also the end tag like this. Um, so end tag like this. Like this. And then again, uh, remember, you see that um, such stuff, such uh, elements do have what? Uh, they do have attributes. Attributes, they add more information about the you know uh, the, the the html element for example if this one is an anger tag you can say for example you can add the uh, the value at the the name first of all the name and the name for example you can say for example if it is a hyper reference it is href hyper reference href and then uh, you assign to i say that it's a uh, is it is in a name pair name value pair for example the name is hyper hyper reference and then uh, the uh, the what the, the 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 value can be for example the url for example if you want to have a uniform resource located the url for for example name tag you'll add it here for example you'll say https we'll talk in future about networking and understand this http in, in, in details but uh in a nutshell this stands for hypertext transfer protocol when it has the the s here it, it means that um it has a secure connection and then uh, here we have the colon and then uh, the first slash like this and then you can define your domain of your website for example if it's nametech nametech.com or uh, for example others begins with the nametech www.nametech.com uh, so it will it will still work and then uh, here you can you can add what you can add in the 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 uh, for example the name of the link like i can say for example this is a link and this is a link and then uh, let's save and try to first of all let me zoom out a bit in the for you to see better let me save control plus s and then um and then uh, let me refresh let me refresh and then i uh, guess you can see this is a link i forgot to add in the the what uh to add in the kale uh, at the end this is a link and then uh, let me refresh. I say that is Control plus R to refresh. Now, when you click on this link, it will open. What it will open the name tag website. Let me just uh, give it some time so that it may load. And then, I guess you can see now it takes me to the name tag, uh, to the name tag. So uh, basically, that's how you can define a link. And now uh, you can see initially it was blue. The link was blue, but uh, when I click on it, it became what purple. When you click it several times, it will be what it will be. In. Uh, red it would be it would be red another example of um of uh, of an element that has that need that must have what the the attributes the image so for example let me place an image in that folder uh where will i get an image like uh, for example um, let me just search for an image in the browser boy boy uh image uh let me search for the image and then uh, perhaps this one is fantastic let me just um save image and then i'm gonna save it at the desktop and then add this a document remember it must be in the same folder where your your html documents are is others you are you'll have to specify the path but uh, let me just place it, it place it here and then i perhaps let me just say boy and then uh, you can see the file name is J, jpeg 
JPEG. And then I let me save. Uh, let me save. And then now, for example, if I want to display that image, we'll just say, uh, you'll just say what, for example, um, uh, remember it is um this one doesn't need to have the start like i said that uh, this one's uh, this not all html uh, not all html uh, elements should have what must have the star the end tag like uh, for example i told you an example of this uh, doc type here and this is a code that defines the version of the html doesn't have the closing tag uh, another scenario is in this uh, image img tag for defining the images so you just say, for example, IMG like this. Then it's a self-closing tag. You can you can add or I can just choose to leave it the way it is. But um, so it doesn't need the closing tag. But you can add it if you wish. And then uh, here you can say, for example, if you want to add in the name value pair, you can say, for example, CRC for source CRC. And then uh, you can assign here to the value of which can be. Remember, it must be inside these are uh, two quotes. Your URLs must be inside these uh, two quotes. So the start tag, at uh, the start quote, and at the closing quote, their speech marks are all right. Don't know the quote, the quote, the quote, your quotation. And then I guess uh, here is where you can define your image. For example, it was boy, and then uh, you must it you must specify the the extension of that uh, file. It was JPEG, JPG like this. And then I'll let's save and try to see if it will work. Uh, let me refresh. Uh, let me refresh and then I'll see if it will work. And then I guess you can see we have that boy. We have displayed that boy here. Uh, so I guess uh, remember I use a uh, capital letter, but it's not a must. You can as well use this small J. And of course, I think the good, the good practice to use a small letter like this so for uniformity of codes. And then uh, let's refresh. Uh, you can see it still works so this is how you can display the image and you, <coughs> and you realize that uh, that it doesn't have what the closing tag but it still works you know and uh, for headings I guess i told you about the headings you have the start tag the the uh, the the h1 to h6 h1 h1 defines what uh, h1 defines uh, the highest heading and then uh, h6 h6 defines the least important heading so it will be small um so basically automatically browsers add uh, some white space or a margin before and after the heading and the heading as you can see here yeah, it's quite you know awesome but uh, we shall talk about styling later in future when we when we'll be using the uh, css but um i don't want to go to that and then uh, for paragraph uh for paragraph i think this one is important for paragraph guys, uh, perhaps let me just uh, give you a clue on that paragraph. Paragraph I said is defined using the uh, p tag. So uh, a paragraph is defined using the p tag, and um, uh, so with the p tag, remember it has the start tag and uh, the end tag. Just like p, p like that, you are defining what the paragraph. And then we can say we can even say here. Um, this is a uh, parag paragraph 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 perhaps let me say um name tag offers free take courses a uh, free take courses uh yeah let me just say it free take courses like that and then now what i do let me just save and uh, see how it will be displayed and then now uh, let me just refresh uh, let me just uh, refresh and then uh, guys you can see at the bottom name tech offers free take courses and then i uh, guess uh, the other thing you realize with the html is that uh, html without css is very ugly you know the arrangement of stuff is not quite good like you can see even you can see this uh, name tag is quite awesome right because it has the styling you can see the arrangement of content is quite awesome you know and all that so uh, html without css is very very ugly but in this course it's very very important for you to understand what the html even if it's ugly even if it's not presentable just embrace it for you to understand it better of course we shall talk about uh, css in our next uh, in our next uh, course actually after this html i'll provide uh, the css uh, course but in a nutshell guys uh, let me give you for example 
uh, what uh, what our what our CSS uh, means or look like. So basically, HTML style attributes is, is used to add the style to a, to uh, to an HTML element. Remember, this one is still under the and this one is still under what? This one is still under the HTML. We have the the tag called style. If you want to use the internal CSS, remember it must be inside the the head. You can have the external CSS. You can have internal CSS. You can have inline CSS. But uh, for inline CSS, you have to add in. For example, you can place it anywhere. For example, for body, you can add in another attribute here. For example, called style. You can have other. I remember I talked about the attributes. The attributes they add more information about the HTML element. Like you can have attribute, then you assign. You use this equal operator, then you assign it to, uh, to your, to your actually to the thing that you want. It must be inside the quotes. For example, if you want to add the background color for something or a color, or let me say background color. Of course, body can't have. Um, it can, of course, it can have, it can display everything to be white for colors, but uh, I want to add here a background, background color, background color. Let me um, give it. We shall talk about CSS in this uh, details. Don't uh, worry about these stuffs. Background color, I can say, for example, um, uh, let me give it red in a. Uh, we shall talk about these stuffs. Don't, don't try to understand uh, that. And then I guess you can see now you have the background color. So this is all about CSS. This is CSS and the colors and everything and styling. It's all about the CSS. But for now, guys, I want to concentrate on to concentrate on a uh, HTML. In fact, let me remove that styling. I just wanted to underscore the fact that uh, we have attributes on HTML. Now let me just uh, save and then uh, so that we may just you know do what focus on. Uh, HTML, HTML. So basically, this is about the uh, this about the the style tag, the style the styles. I uh, can uh, we will talk about the external styling in uh, while be while, while we'll be uh, tackling the the CSS. But uh, let me talk about the formatting and the text uh, formatting. This one is still under uh, yeah, it's it's HTML, I think. So guys, you can have the you can make your text bold. You can make your text um, you can italic. You can make. You can have a subscript. A su subscript. You can have the superscript. You can uh, have the. Um, you know the the text with the with the deleted content and uh, other stuffs. So, guys, uh, for example, let me just uh, show you how you can add the bold text. So, for bold text, you use the B tag. Uh, for beta use the beta claim just um, do it here at the bottom you can say for example you can just use the b tag b tag for bold to make a text bold and then you can say you remember it has the start tag and the closing tag b like this and then um, remember most uh, codes basically if you're a beginner just use the sing uh, the, the start tag and the the end tag to understand basically to be to be sure that everything will work and let me just place here for example let me say this is a bold text and this is a bold text without uh, much emphasis so let me just save and uh, see remember we also have another another one for making the bold text uh, which is called the strong but uh, that one adds more you know uh, add more inform uh, you know emphasis on a text uh, just the same as the bold, the, the, the you know the bold text, but uh, that one adds more you know emphasis on the text. Uh, so guys, you can see here we have uh, the bottom. We have um, perhaps guys that uh, this one you don't have to understand. Let me just add add in at the bottom here some padding, so that um, you know, uh, so that uh, you may have some so, so that I may have some some space near the bottom for you, to show you better. You don't have to do this. Remember, we shall talk about CSS. So here at the bottom, let me just see. Um, let me add here a div. Let me use a div here. You don't have to do this. Of course, this one is an example of an of a, of a HTML element, but uh, you don't have to do this. I just want to use it just to add in some space for me to teach you better. So let me just say um, padding top, uh, padding top. 
let me give it something like uh, even a 500 or so pixel and then uh, yeah so um let me let me save and uh, see how it look like so essentially i just want to add some space here at the bottom so that i can scroll like this but uh, you don't have to do this this one is the css we shall talk about uh, these stuff uh, later but uh, for now i just wanted to have this space so that i may zoom in and uh, uh, show you better for you to understand you don't have to do this this one is uh, css or uh, if you are interested you have understood that beforehand so um we also have another one called a uh, strong we have another one called a uh, strong it's the same as the bold but uh, these ones add more emphasis on uh, text uh, so it is a uh, strong uh, strong 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 and then uh, it has a closing tag called a uh, strong again so let me save and uh, see <coughs> so uh, guys you can see it is you know it is uh, it, it is still bold they are still born but at this one's uh, you can see the second one has what has uh, you know a more emphasis you know it has a bit of boldness you know um adds more emphasis on that bold so and then i uh, guess you can see now the alignment is uh, in line it is in line so we shall talk about styling later but uh, for example if you want to make a text italic you just use what for example, let me just have, um, let me ha create a paragraph. Let me create a paragraph that I'm going to use to describe my stuff here. For example, let me use a P tag and I create some paragraph. The star tag, then uh, let me add in the content there for paragraph. Perhaps let me just try to add in some break, some, let me break this line so that it can be quite visible. And then, uh, guys, uh, there's something that you're going to realize here. You can see. I've, I've you know broken these lines these lines are broken you know in uh, in different lines on this uh, notebook but i will see that uh, on the brush it will be just a straight line you know with a content in a straight line so let me just first of all show, let me do this adding the closing tag let's don't forget to add the closing tag for html elements for it to work so let me save and then on uh, the browser, I guess you will realize that it will be just a straight line like this. You can see, I doesn't have what those are break lines like what we have here. Uh, you can see on the code, it is you know it has several lines. We have broken into several lines, but uh, on the on the display on the browser, we just have you know a straight lines that runs uh, runs from the further end to the other to the other end. So I okay, so basically if you want to have some break tag. Uh, if you want to add in those uh, break, uh, line, line break, you have to use another code called what BR for break tag. Remember, this one doesn't have to do it. This one it doesn't need the, the close tag. For example, if you want to break the line, you just use BR. Of course, you can add in the end tag, but it's not a must case. Don't use a dot add. Just use BR like this. Let me add it to several uh, where I want to break the line. Uh, here also uh, here also and then uh, lastly here so basically this way when you save on the browser it will be what it will have uh, different lines like this let me try to run and then i guess you can see now we have what uh, several lines like that now of course you can also add the superscript and the subscript so for superscript on a uh, content you can say for example so for example for heading uh, for, for for what for dates this most of the time they are written they have for example 28 the t the th is always at the top there so let me just first of all let me just say for example um i'll use a uh, h1 let me use a h1 or a h3 and then um for example always adding the closing tag for example h3 and then uh, now inside between these are two tags i'll add in the content for example today is uh 15th right uh today is uh i'm recording this video on 19th of june 2023 so i'll see what i'll say um 19th 19th uh basically it should be 19th for 19, 19 then uh th i'll make it a, a superscript you know a superscript then and then i'll let me say june uh, 20 
and 21 to 2023. So for example, if I want, to, let me first of all show you how it is displayed without the superscript. So let me just uh, refresh and see. So as you can see, it is like this, just a straight line with words. But I want to make this uh, TH to be at the top here to display a title proper. So I'll say what I'll say. Uh, where these are uh, named, where the that name that I want to make the 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 the, the what the, the superscript begins. I'll just say uh, I'll open the start tag and say uh, soup for superscript like this, and then uh, where I, I want it to end, I'll add in the the end tag here, like I can say uh, closing tag for soup uh, soup like this superscript. Then uh, when you save. When you refresh your code, you'll find out that you have the superscript like that. And then, um, and so, uh, so for example, if I want to display at the subscript, you can say, for example, um, I think this all this sometimes applies on the logs. Let me just copy this line of code, and then uh, let me paste it here. And then, uh, for example, I'll have uh, something like a uh, let's say, um. Let me say, for example, log log base two. For example, base two of um, of uh, perhaps let's say uh, ten or uh, whichever value. So I want to make these two to be a base to be a base. So what I do, uh, let me refresh first of all and see how it looks. So I want to make these two to be the subscript, uh, the subscript at the bottom. So the same principle apply despite that at this one we use the sub. Uh, for so for this to just say uh, sub all the spelling for subscript i think it's sub like this then uh, at the end of it you also add in the closing tag uh, for sub sub is it a or a u i think it's u then uh, let me save and then uh, let me refresh and then you can see now you have log 2 of 10 a log a log base 2 of 10 so basically this is how you can do it this is how you can add them the subscript of course you can add uh, other stuff like uh, for example deleted you can find the reference on the website but in a nutshell this is perhaps let me show you that for example if you want to delete something uh, you can just say what you can just say um uh, or again basically there's something that i want to make to show you for example if you want to, to make this uh, paragraph to be italic you just uh, add where you want that part to be to start it to start or where you want that it you know to utilize the words begin to begin so you just say i so i want to begin from this other end then uh, that it uh, utilization ends at this juncture at this end uh this i uh, end and then uh, you close like this then uh, on your browser when you refresh you'll find that uh, this course will be ita italic italic like this you can see now it is italic and of course, if you want to make, uh, you know, to 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 do it, to delete a text, or to to have some underline like this, you'll say, for example, uh, maybe tomorrow is twentieth. So on tomorrow, you don't want to display this on anything. You do it. You want to add in the cross here between, say that uh, this date is past. So to do that, you can just say, for example, um, you just say delete del del for delete like this. Uh, where you want it to begin, where you want that part to be to begin from. I remember now H3 is now be, has now become a nested, a nested HTML element. Remember I talked about the HTML elements, the nested HTML element is an element that has ele other elements inside it. So when you add this one, it will be a nested. And so um, I want it to end where I want it to end. Um, uh you know I, i'll want that del to end here so i'll say the closing tag then a del uh, del and then i guess you can realize that uh, a single line can have several what html elements so this one is called a nested nesting so let me save and then uh let me uh, you know now guys you can see now i've added the cross here uh, so basically in a nutshell this is how you can format you know your text element html element and about let me talk about the quotations uh for example you can add in for example if you want to cite um at the source of your of some if you are doing citation and you want to add in the source and all that 
But uh, for example, if you want to, you know, to do it, to add some abbreviations for something, you, you might want to make a distinguished uh, content about that part. Or, um, or uh, for example, if you are displaying a speech, you might want to have that and that part for the, you know, uh, for the, uh, for 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 the for that speech. For example, let me guys, uh, let me just uh, copy this part, this paragraph. And then I want to have some citation here. So what I'll do, so I'll assume, um, I'll assume, for example, here I can say, this is a paragraph, I can say, for example, uh, here is a citation. Uh, here is a, is, a, is a, maybe I can say something like even a quote, a quote from name tech. Though it's not a quote, it is just using for the sake of example, name tech. But let me just say name take like that. And then uh, so at this juncture, guys, I can add in what that site. Uh that site. Uh, actually that block code you can add in the block code the uh, parameter and of course the site, the citation. And so you can say for example, the start tag is uh, block uh, block what block um uh, block um what i do guys let me just let me just uh do this let me just uh, copy this part and i use it uh, somewhere else so that it do not be in line i want that part to be alone and then uh so let me paste it here and then i uh, here where is it where is it uh here guys i'll have that so i'll have uh let me remove this italization and uh, add in the block code i don't know if you understand a block code <laughs> block or block quote guys i've ju just done the copy pasting but now this one is the start tag this is the start tag and of course uh, here remember this is a br uh, br tag is just the break tag to break the lines however i just delete this one and then I, instead of i i'll replace with what the closing tag for the block quote i don't know if you are confused but guys are uh, I don't think you are confused, you're intelligent people. So I've just done the copy pasting despite that I'm changing the star tag, the, the tags, the HTML tags, the, the block code tag, and the you know the end tag like that. And then I here guys I'll do it. For example, if I want to add in the parameters like a for example citation, you can say you can cite the 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 link to that. For example, let me say cite and then I this is the name, then at the value you can say for example, should be inside what should be inside the two quotes then uh, for example can add in the hyper reference the, the url here https uh, https and then uh, uh, perhaps let me say uh, name tech name tech, uh, like this and then uh, what i do is uh, let me just try to save and uh, see how it will be displayed on the browser mm, well, which browser am i using this one let me just try to so guys i basically you can see now we have some you know citation about this stuff so guys i basically that's how you can uh you know go about that and uh guys of course you can add in what you can um you can uh, define the short quotation for example if you want to have another quotation inside another another quote you can do it you can define the short uh quotes with the q q so for example if you want to add in another quote somewhere here if you want to add in a shortcut, you can just say Q, and then um, where you want it to end, for example, uh, at the end here, you can add in what uh, the Q at the end. Remember, it must have what the closing tag at the end, like this. Then when you save, you'll add one. You'll add what the short quote. Uh, so guys, uh, yeah, guys, you can see now we have this uh, short quote here. It is there. You can see now we have this. Uh, and this what let me zoom in a bit for you to see better so guys you can see we have these tabs and these are opening and uh closing not speech whatever so this one defines that uh, this one is uh, quotes so and of course guys uh, you can as well emphasize something you can emphasize something like uh, for example um you can uh, add the highlights for example for some certain things but I guess I don't want to go that you can find the reference on the website. But there's something that I uh, guess I must touch on is the, is, the, is the comment. Now, comments, they just help developers identify or uh, I know that uh, this part of a code was 
uh, was uh, the citation or I was the paragraph or, or I was the link, the gallery section and all that, but uh, it, it cannot be displayed on, the, displayed on the browser. For example, if I want to write a comment, here yeah, and as tell you know sometimes guys when you are when you'll be a professional developer you'll be collab collaborating with other developers so you might want to create some to display some content to to show other developers that uh, this section I was coding uh, the you know uh, the form the form here then at uh, this section I was coding the the images or uh, the source of these images were found in this folder or uh, whichever folder. So it's a good practice to, try, uh, to understand the comment. Remember, they don't, they cannot be displayed on the browser. They just help you, developers identify certain codes. So it begins with us, the angle bracket for less than, then an exclamation like this, and then a two hyphens, and then uh, this is the start tag. Now the end, uh, basically it is just a single line, but it has this first uh, start, and then now, uh, uh, sorry, the course for the end. Uh, I remember just a single tag, but uh, it has uh, this exclamation two hyphens, then a contents, then a two hyphens. Remember, contents goes, uh, comment goes here, like uh, let me say comment uh, is here. And then after that, after your comment, then you place these two hyphens, then now uh, there's a close and whatever. So, guys, I realize that uh, you not how you not see what that part for comment. Let me just sell, then uh, let me check it out if it's available or not. So guys, you can see now we no longer have that part of comment. I've refreshed, but uh, you see, there's nothing like that which is appearing. So comment, they they don't, uh, they cannot be uh, basically they are not you know visible on the browser. This is just you know um, a part of. For example, if uh, you are coding a website, you can just say, for example, if you are collaborating with other developers, you can say, for example, this is the navigation section, this is the body section. This is the footer section and all that. So, um, uh, so uh, basically, uh, this is all about the comments. And then uh, there's a uh, perhaps uh, let me talk about colors, though it is here. It is. So, for colors, guys, if I want to add a color, perhaps let me just use an inline. Though we shall talk about these colors later, but um, um, so. For example, if I want to make this a uh, text uh, color, uh, color red, you just say perhaps style dot. Talk about CSS later, but this one is an attribute and uh, HTML attribute. Remember, uh, CSS is used to style HTML document. So essentially, you must have the HTML uh, HTML document for you to style your page or in CSS. So um, for so for style, I just say for example um style then uh, you can see for example the color for example color if you want to say color to be red just say color then a colon then i say red then you close with the semicolon and then uh, when you refresh you'll find that uh, the color are uh, what the color will be uh the color will be red though i wanted this a uh, paragraph so i i i i used at a wrong place let me just you know uh, cut these are called attributes attributes Attributes. So uh, let me undo. I should have copied it even there. So basically, these are called attributes, and but we shall talk about more of it on uh, CSS. Uh, so let me just paste it here. Remember, it must be in the in the start tag in the start tag of uh, of uh, any HTML element. It must be at the start tag for it to have an effect. But I shall talk about these are. Uh, Styling the later in uh, CSS. Now, um, so we shall talk about these stuff much in detail. We shall talk about the CSS. Remember, CSS is the uh, cascading style sheet. It is used to style this HTML document, as I showed you, as I told you earlier, that the HTML without CSS is very ugly. For instance, this page, as you can see, is not quite uh, presentable because it's just you know HTML it doesn't have any styling like what you have here the name tag. You can see it is more styled. It has, you know, some colors and all that, and uh, such stuff. So it's quite extensive. For example, to add, um, let me, for example, let me just click on this and start learning. And then I guess you can see this one is kind of, um, this is awesome because we have styled it. But uh, for example, this one is just, you know, HTML document. It's not that presentable. So for styling, it is a CSS. 
uh, this juncture guys uh, let me talk about the links the links are quite quite helpful uh, to understand this aspect of the links to understand the links so how do you define a link uh, to define a link guys uh, let's get to a back to our code uh, basically a link uh, a link uh, they help for example let me just uh, try to define what a link is a link is anything that uh, if you want to navigate your users to certain uh, places or a certain pages or uh, you want to make them um, basically interact with something you might use the link so the link when you click on the link it, it can take you somewhere somewhere else or whatever place you uh, you you want for example if you want to navigate to another page for example contact page uh, a blog page and all that you might want to use the link to click on it so that it may take you there actually uh, html links are hyperlinks you can uh, click on a link and uh, jump to another document so when you when you move the mouse over a link the mouse arrow will turn into a little hand it will turn into a little hand to show that there is a link let me just um let me just remember guys a link does not have to be a text it can be uh, previously i talked about i used i used um you know an image to show you that uh, it's a link but you can as well use what you can as well use an image Mm. so for example let me just use an image here perhaps uh, should i use an image yeah, i guess i have an image somewhere so for example i said a link is defined using this uh, anger tag uh, anger tag like this a eh? and then uh, it has the closing tag uh, i said it begins with, uh, with the first slash then uh, anger tag like this mm. so guys for example if you want to define a link you use the hyper reference remember uh, src it is for what is for images so it is hyper ref hyper reference then uh, you assign it to your url you can use a single or a double quote but it must be in a pair then uh, inside it you can place you can say for example uh, you can define your hyperlink for example should be uh, let me say name tech dot com dot uh, com about dot com or a uh, conduct contact like this and then uh, here guys you can place what uh, your image remember how you define a, an image you define an image using the img tag is a self closing tag so you don't have to have the the closing tag then uh, here you can place what you can add in these uh, properties like src then you specify your image so let me just save and then i do it uh refresh now guys you can see it's a, it's a link i say that when you place a, a cursor on a, when you hover your cursor on a, on a link it will it will have a short it will have a hand something like a hand you can see when i place my cursor here this ball you can see it changes to something like a, a hand a hand you can see initially it's just a pointer but when i place it it changed to a hand so it means that it is isn't a link when i click on it you can see uh, it will take me where to the name tech uh, contact page so let me give it some time so that it may load i don't know why my network is uh taking forever to take me there and then i guess you can see now it has took me to this uh, contact page for uh the you know uh the the the, the name tech basically this uh this is the anchor tag actually this is the uh the tag to define that uh, this one is a link and so in most cases guys you might not want a situation where, where, where when you click on link it takes me to another website but um uh, you get difficult to return to where your page is so you might want to when you click on a link it opens on another tab it opens on another tab and then uh, this page is remains and interfered so guys uh, let me just show you now by default by default the page will be displayed in the current browser uh, basically current actually current tab when you just click or a current window and you just click reload it just open like you saw earlier it just open on the same page but um you can also uh, specify another target for the link now the target attributes uh specify where to open the uh, the linked uh, document so um you can have some values on the target attributes so for example um 
you can add in another attribute somewhere here. For example, if I want to do this as a link to be, uh, should I use a name here? Let me just use a name so that it can, can be easier for me to. <coughs> so let me say um, name tech. Let me just say name tech conduct. Conducts. So I want to add here uh, an attribute here. So guys, okay, so basically what I'll do here, I'll just say target, target. Then I'll assign here, for example, if I want to uh, make it to open the document in a new window or a tab, what I'll do is I'll uh, just say uh, blank. I'll just say, remember any value, remember key, key can be without the quote, but at the values, values of your um, attribute should have what the quotes. Either single, you can use a single or at the same limit use single soft so that you may see the both work, but it must be in a pair. Then you can see, for example, if you want to open in a blank, you just say underscore, then you say, you say blank. Blank like this. Now, when you open the link, uh, you know the link I've changed here to name take contact, so it will, it will not be an image, it will not be this image, it will be name take contact because I've changed from the image. So now when I click on it, it will take me, it will, you can see now it opens on another tab, but at this uh, page is just, you know, uh, quite, uh, it's not an in interfere trait, you can see. So basically, or uh, guys, basically if you want to open the document uh, in the parent frame, you can use uh, the parent, the inner underscore parent. Let me just, you know, show you. You can just use a parent if you want to open uh, the document in the parent frame, you can just see underscore parent. Remember it begins with an underscore parent like this. Then uh, let's save. Then at uh, this way, guys, it will do what it will open on the parent uh, page. Uh, so, guys, uh, the other thing that I want us to talk about here is the images. Let me talk about the images in details. Uh, though I talked about it, I just showed you, but I want to talk about uh, images in details. So generally, images can improve the design and the appearance of a web. And I, most uh, websites, they do have uh, the images, you know, to accompany their content, at least to present their visual presentation of, you know, your uh, of a website. You know, to have a very very uh, nice impression there, you need to have some images. So it's very fundamental to understand how to use images on the on the. And basically on the website how do you use an image uh guys so basically um an image we use the image tag is i said it's a self-closing tag so just say img so basically this is the tag for image but uh it it is independent it is dependent on the you know the the attributes the attribute the html attribute the src for source and then on the image source an image uh you know url so for example uh, remember the attribute is always C uh, S R C for source, and then uh, you assign it to the image. If uh, you have the image in your system, just specify the path, the file path. Otherwise, what you do, you are, you'll have to uh, specify. For example, if you have an external, if you are you have uploaded uh, an image path on Drive, I'll show you also how to use Drive the images from Drive or uh, any other online uh, storage somewhere. So I'll show you how you can uh, incorporate it in your URLs. So basically here you have to assign first of all. And then uh, here is where you place your, remember you have an image here in this uh, computer in the same directory called uh, boy, boy.jpg. Remember guys, it must be in the same directory, otherwise you have to specify the path. And then a woman, perhaps let me use a woman, or let me use a woman this time. Uh, so what I'll say, I'll say woman, woman a uh, woman dot uh, jpeg and then uh, what i want to do guys uh, perhaps uh, let me just uh, save uh, let me save and then uh, what i do let me just try to uh, refresh and see how it will look like and then i uh, hear the bottom guys you can see now you have that woman there uh, so guys uh, basically this is how you can place and uh, perhaps guys uh, if you have an image in an external directory remember for it to work well it must be in the same directory otherwise if it's uh, the different uh, directory you have to specify the path so how do you specify the path so um in your code for example the image is uh, let's say uh, let me open first of all and uh, perhaps uh, the downloads i've just you know downloaded this image 
it is here the download uh, folder so what i'll do guys to use this image just uh, click on it and then i click on copy the path copy the path uh, remember this applies if it's in the in the in the in the uh in the local directory if you are running this uh, browser uh, actually this is website on the on the local host it will apply but if you use it you are, you'll have to do it you'll have to specify uh you know the path but i guess i hear you have to use the box the pair a pair of backslash a pair of backslash also here a pair of backslash uh, a pair of backslash and then i hear also a pair of backslash and then uh, let me save and of course here i should have removed these uh, extra quotes so let me just save and see if it will work uh so let me close i'm not sure if it will work let me just try to run yeah i guess it's working so basically this is how you can uh, specify the external path but i guess it's a good it's a good practice to use um uh, your images in the same directory so that you may not struggle a lot to you can say for example if i want to display a boy i just say what i just say boy boy.jpg I just say boy dot jpeg. I not struggle a lot to code to find the file path and all that because it is at the same the same directory like this. And then when you run, then I just obtain your boy, you know, uh, without you know struggling a lot to do many things. So guys, basically this is applies if you have um uh, the files in your documents. Others, for example, if you want to refer in an in an external file let me just go to unsplash website they provide a free website uh, free, free images so let me just get there and then i see if I'll, i can get what i can get a, a sample image perhaps let me just search for boy a boy or a whichever um, let me just um click on it uh, click anywhere let me just click on this uh, very very beautiful boy here uh what i'll do here let me just try to write yeah sure sure this way i can get the link let me copy the image address here i can copy the image address and then what i do guys let me just place it here so let me just place it here uh, for security purpose I, I cannot go to my drive it's not uh, my drive is not an open source for you to uh, see everything there so what i do let me just uh refresh and see how it will look like so guys you can see it's working right so basically this is how you can uh do a reference to an external source for your images but uh, for the images inside your system just use the file name if it's uh, the same directory then it's gonna be displayed so um uh, so basically this is how you can do that on the external uh, uh, file so um let me just you know uh, let me just uh, delete and then i use my images uh, which are not cooperated so let me just say for example uh boy let me just say boy dot jpeg and jpeg uh, should be jpeg jpeg a uh, jpeg like that and then uh, guys, of course you might want to uh, add in some extra information for example if your image is deleted let me zoom in so guys are best, you might have some images in your system you might have images in your, in your system but uh, in some point the images can be deleted or uh, basically interfered or uh, perhaps uh, something uh, something strange happens to images so you might want to leave some text so that you can tell the and the the, the users that are this uh, this was the image that was here for example if you want to say you can add in the another another text for example you can add in and another attribute called um lt alternative for or for alternative text you can just say uh alt for alternative alt then you can assign here to your um, image uh, to actual to this text for example you can say boy you can say boy image remember this image uh this uh, sorry is <laughs> to save is control plus s to save uh, basically guys uh, if the image is working properly uh it won't display that text but uh, for example if this image is deleted or uh, if you if you're using you have used the name which is not for example let's say you have uh, you have uh, misspelled the file file name file path actually the file type for example use a png instead of jpeg png png 
I was just praying for PNG like that. So basically, it won't uh, be appear because this file is a JPEG, not a PNG. So it will leave that text. You can see it's, it's, it now says a boy image. So this is how you can display alternative text actually to uh, describe what kind of an image that was there, but it was deleted. It was deleted in, uh, or basically the file name is not working properly. So basically that's how you can do that, uh, How that's how you can add in the alternative text so that the users may understand that uh, the image that is not available here was um, the boy's image or uh, whichever image uh, that was here. And of course, guys, you can add in some styling with the style attribute. Style attribute. So just uh, these are uh, the same line you can add in the style attribute. For example, you can just say style. Remember, this is we shall talk about style deeper in CSS. But uh, in a nutshell, let me just show you how you can add in some perhaps image size and so forth. So, for example, width width is a is a is a uh, width. You width, what's the plan for width? Key value there in, there in key values pair or um, property value pair. And so, um, so value here I can say, for example, I can give it uh, perhaps 500 uh, pixel. This is width. And then uh, you separate uh, parameters with a colon like this. Then you can also add in what the height. And the height you can assign here to uh, you can uh, remember they must be in the key value pair so here you can say for example i can say even 600 perhaps 600 pixel or whichever size you want let me just try with this one then uh, i'll see how it will look like let me just try off of course i uh, use the uh, wrong name and let me change it to our correct name it is a jpeg jpeg like this then uh, let's save control plus s is to save then uh, when you refresh guys you can see now the sizes are quite big right <laughs> let me zoom out a bit so guys you can see now the image is kind of distorted is increased in size and of course you can make it even smaller kabisa you can do it you can uh, let me just say for example 50 60 so 50 by 60 like this but i guess i advise you to use uh, the the image proportionally for example if it is a uh, uh, it's a square, so your, your units should be in a, in a squared format. The units should be in a square format so that uh, the image may not be distorted. So like, yeah, so yeah, be sure to do that. And of course, you can see now it is resized to a smaller uh, version. So basically, this is how you can add in these attributes to sell your images in the, uh, you know, uh, in details. And of course, you can as well use the internal styling. Uh, internal CSS but uh, hey, this one this is part of uh, CSS but uh, let me just show you you can add in the start tag for style style I remember you must you must also understand CSS so you are in the right journey even if I bring it um, earlier so it's an advantage to you to understand some basic CSS before we go to CSS, uh, so uh, here I'll say what I'll say, for example, um, so this is the styling, and then uh, here you can say, or you can tag it, now we have the selector, selectors is like uh, that IMG tag, is the IMG tag, the tag that you want to style, and then I will use the calibrations, and then inside this calibrations, we can do it, we can add in, um, these are properties, and like you can say, for example, a width, uh, with we can say for example let's say 100 as you be 0 0 100 pixel you, you must specify the unit and then uh with with uh, not really it should be now height height then i can give it something like uh, let's say even um 200 200 pixel Remember, guys, in the order of priority, it begins. We have uh, the internal CSS. An example of an internal CSS is what we use here in this uh, IMG tag here. This inside the line, inside the the, the 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 elements. So this one is an example of what an inline CSS. Uh, but then we also have the internal CSS, the CSS that is placed here at the head. 
and then we have external for example if you have another uh, document with an extension .css, another file type for css an external file separated from a html document that one is called an external css now in the order of priority for example here you can see we have uh, the we have what we have the the styling here the are the are uh, the are the tags you can see we have the styling here uh, for to define the height and uh, all that and then also we have another styling on the same but uh, with uh, different units here now in the order of priority this is internal uh, basically this inline css will be picked first followed by this um, uh, internal and then uh, perhaps if you had uh, external with uh, different unit uh, specification for your image then uh, uh, the, that one will be the last priority to, to be picked how 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 does it uh, work for example let me just try to run and see how it looks like you can see it's still small right so for example let me just try to remove that part uh, and for this uh, let me just remove this uh, css here this internal css styling uh, let me save then i will find out that uh, it's now quite bigger it will be big you can see now it's big it's working so because we have removed the internal css so in the order of priority the inline css is the most priority then uh internal here at the top becomes the second priority and uh, if you had a, a external file then it will be the third uh, priority uh, so guys uh, basically to add the background image for example if you want to add the background image for the entire document to be in the uh, to be at the background what you do uh you do it our, for example, let me just use this example of this uh, paragraph. I want to add in the background image here. Let me just show you how you can do that. Let me just say style. This, this is an attribute. Style, and then I here do it. I'll uh, place these two quotes. Then I'll add in this property called um, a background background uh, background 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 image. You can say background image or just background. It will work still. But uh, let me just say background image background image then uh, i can um, assign it i uh, give it a, a, a value of uh, perhaps um i'll use what i'll use uh, that image also guys in that case you have to use to define uh, you to use this URL uniform resource locator like this then uh, you open the two parentheses two parentheses and then inside these are parentheses is where you do you define uh, your what you define your your image for instance it is um uh it is what it is a boy boy dot jpeg or a woman let me use a woman let me use a woman woman dot jpeg i have an name an image called a woman so guys okay, so basically um what i do let me just try to save and see first of all if it's working or not let me just uh, uh refresh uh, it's not working right. Um, perhaps I use a, a wrong image. Perhaps let me change it to. Um, hmm. uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. If, let me use a boy and see if it will work. Boy. A boy. Oh, but I guess. Oh, guys, it should be inside the quotes. Uh, if I used here a single quote, I just seen outside the double quote. Let me use a single quote inside here and see if it will work. Uh -huh. remember it's quote inside another quote let me just check it to work yeah guys you can see now uh, there is a background you can see it is uh, we have uh, this image but you can see it is repeated several times so to 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 limit this um, repetition stuff you have to add in another property of course we shall talk about the css later but uh, to add that property you can just you can just say um uh uh, you know a background you can uh, you can just say specify um you can add in this uh, bug, a property called uh, uh background repeat you can say back ground background repeat repeat property hey repeat you can just say uh no repeat no uh, repeat repeat i don't know if it is the spelling for repeat <laughs> i assume it's the spelling for repeat let me just save and then now here once if the codes are okay it will not it won't repeat here you can see now it's just a single 
a single image here at the background of this uh, uh, you know uh, code but i shall talk about this styling later in uh, css but uh uh, just to let you understand the, this is how you can do it. This is how you can add in the background image. Uh, yeah, so uh, this is all about the, the the image. Perhaps let me talk about the favcon, the HTML favcon. And uh, first of all, let's understand what is a, a, a favcon. Now, basically, guys, a favcon is a small image displayed next to the uh, image title in the in the browser tab. tab. Like you can see here are the at this uh, Google Drive, you can see here at the top we have the logo. So basically, this one is, is an example for what of a, of a, a favcon. Uh, this one splash. Also for Nemtech, we have the logo Nemtech. For example, let me just say Nemtech. And then uh, at the browser there at the top, you can see we have that kind of uh, stuff, that kind of an image. So th that's that's an example of a, of a favcon. You know, an example of what a favcon. Now you can use any image you like as your favcon. You can also create your own um, if you are good with the graphics. Now, basically, to add the favcons, um, let me place an image somewhere. Let me just go to downloads. Let me copy. Then uh, let me just add it here at the desktop. This uh, I want it to be in the same directory. Uh, let me just place it there. Now, now I'll use this image as a favcon. So what I'll do is um, we also have the tag called the link tag. Now it, this one is placed inside the head. I remember I told you that this way, this is where you you can add in the metadata. Um, so you can see here you have the title, and then we have this uh, styling and all that. So you can add in another 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 uh, metadata here, another property here called the link, another uh, HTML attribute called link, like this. Uh, HTML element, not attribute link. So, guys, this one is a self closing tag. You can use the uh, the to add in the closing tag, or you can just leave it the way it is. So, here it has the properties and the attributes. You can add in, for example, um, you can say a rail, a rail like this, and then uh, assign it to uh, perhaps uh, you can say, for example, icon. Let me just use, uh, let me just. Say for example, uh, icon. Let me give it the name. Uh, let me use I it should be icon, right? Icon like this, and then um, the type, uh, the type, the type. Um, you can um, because it's an image. In is an image. I can say what I can say inside this. Of course, you can say um, uh, you can say image image um for example uh, image uh, image uh, x icon image x icon like that ah uh, should be icon like this and then uh the the hyper reference uh, and so um so the the the, uh, the hyper reference you can just say for example h uh hyper reference like this and then uh, you can assign here to uh, you are the the basically the the image or you can use the src so let's try for for example with this uh if it will work it is um ml dot uh, png like this uh sh sh here should be x i should have used the x here let me just try to save and see how it will look like um yeah guys it's working you can see here at the top we have added what the falcon i don't know if i if i zoom in you can see but you can see here at the top we have added what that uh, favcon here at the top. Uh, so basically, guys, this is how you can add in the, the favcon. And uh, it's quite important to display to your, uh, uh, basically to show the audience that uh, this is the website that you own. So that's how you can add in the, the favcon. And now let me talk about another fundamental part, guys, our aspect. Let me talk about the, uh, the tables. The HTML tables, uh, basically uh, these are HTML tables will allow web developers to arrange data into rows uh, and uh, columns. So for example, the table tag is defined using the table. It is uh, it has nested content here. So it is table. It has a start tag and uh, what the end tag, like this. I was explaining for table, I think it's table like this. And of course, I'm using wrong uh, definition of the end tag. It should, it should have what the 
first slash like that and then uh, the table it has what the table head and also the rows the table rows and so to define the table table basically the, the table rows you, are, you use what t tr tr like that tr and then uh, the closing tag of the tr uh, like that uh, like this and then now in this uh, table head you can have what you can have the table the, the table head uh, in this uh, table row you can have the table head for example at the table head you can say, just say th and then it has the closing tag you can see uh, uh, um, mm -hmm, th <laughs> um, the one who is confused guys I should have used here the closing tag uh, so guys uh, here you can add in the the table head for example name you can say for example name perhaps guys uh, let me just try to duplicate let me just try to duplicate or i make uh, three items out of it first name or uh, it always begin with the id id number id name and then uh, uh perhaps email and su such stuff email email like that so guys i want to repeat the same with the uh, with what with the with the table data now remember this the head so uh, remember the table row and the table row um, applies on both the table uh, table head and also the table at the table data so now the table data for example for id one can be what can be let's say one let's say one and then a name can be let's say for example nehemiah wakesa and then our uh, email can be let's say info at nametech.com info at nametech.com so uh, guys i want to make at least two rows to make it a good table like this let me just or a three even a three even and then uh, let me do it let me save i don't know guys if i've understood so basically um the table this is the main uh, tag for you to define a table and then uh, inside that table we have what the table row you can have uh, we can have the table a table is made up of rows and uh, columns so to define a table we use the tr tr and then um this is the table uh, and then a tr then inside the tr remember at the inside the tr you have the table head now the table th is now where you display your headings the heading for the table and then uh, at the same at the bottom we have another tr to define the table row but now here we don't display the table heading we display what the table data i forgot even should be table data also here should be table data now uh, also here should be table data uh, table data uh, here also should be table data table and data like this or perhaps let me just uh, delete these other stuff so that i may duplicate with the right content here so uh, let me just copy and then uh, uh paste it there and then now guys uh, let me i think you've understood let me try to run first of all and see how it look like uh, remember that the html that css is quite ugly you can see now by default this is how um html display displays what displays uh, the the you know the the table uh, this is how you display a uh, html but uh, you need also to have some styling so that it can be quite um you know interesting so perhaps let me add in the styling so that it can it can be a good table but i shall talk about it in details while we'll be discussing the uh, css so here the table main uh, main uh, element i'll, I'll add in the styling proper the style attribute and then in this style i specify the width property for example i say with the table actually that outline with or um, the basically the line with i just say with a uh, width like this then i can assign here even perhaps um i can sign even uh, 100 uh, 100 percent let me use uh, i think uh, the easiest way let me use what uh, let me use uh, the let me use uh, the you know the internal css it's quite easy so you just press by the the selector the selector is gonna be i want to target what the the you know the table itself the main table 
I want the styling to affect the table itself. Then and the TH is now another selector, the table head and also the table data. And then now the inside the braces, I'm, I'm gonna add in the styling that is gonna affect everything here. So I'll say, I remember you don't have to do this. This one is an advanced, this one is CSS, but uh, a quick one here. Let me just say border. I can add in the border, a border, border, and then I can say, for example, one pixel, I'm using the shorthand, one pixel, perhaps solid, uh, which line, black, color, black. And this one is CSS, guys, don't worry. We shall talk about this one in CSS, but uh, just to show you that it is a table, how table looks like, because um, uh, uh, for, uh, for now you can say, yeah, this is not a table, you can tell me this one is not a table, and I agree with you. Uh, based on uh, the definition of a table is made up of lines uh, there it has borders actually it has borders to separate you know items inside the table so uh, basically this is how you, uh, you can do it you can add in the css of course we can uh, style it uh, in a more fancy way but i shall talk about the css later uh, so guys uh, the other thing that i want us to talk about here is the html list and the list allows uh, web developers to group um, a set of related items in a list. So like, um, uh, Giza, let me just show you an example uh, in code. So um, should I delete everything here, guys, for you to understand everything? Uh, or, or what I do, let me just, yeah, let me just delete everything so that, you know, it may not be complicated for you. Um, let me just uh, delete. And then uh, perhaps here also, let me just uh, delete this styling. Uh, the Falcon can remain the way it is. And let it remain the way it is. Now, guys, let me now talk about this uh, list. Um, we have uh, three, two types of lists, actually, two types. We have the unordered list, and uh, we also have the ordered list. So let's begin with the unordered list. Uh, another HTML list starts with a UL, UL tag. Uh, each item starts with the basically the items inside that another list is begins with the LI. So, um, so basically the list item will be marked with the basically with the bullet by default, but you can change, of course, later. I'll show you later. So, let me just show you. You begin with the UL, another list, UL for another list. It has the start tag and the end tag. So the end tag uh, has the first slash ul, and then I hit this way. Uh, so uh, here you can uh, place now your list. Remember, is 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 a, a, a nested, um, you know, uh, tag HTML tag. So here you can place here your list, like you can say li. Uh, li. Now the list item itself, you can say for example. Uh, banana. I like using banana as my examples. Banana, <laughs> banana, banana. I don't know. Banana. And then at the closing tag for the list, uh, it is uh, li. And then uh, let me just duplicate and le at least to make uh, several. Uh, so let me just you know make several. Mm hmm. Mm. So let me just, uh, you know, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So what I did, let me just, I don't know if I can push. I wanted to align them to format these uh, codes so that it may be presentable, but uh, let it be the way it is. But uh, just know that, or uh, let me just remove this for the sake of uniformity. Uniformity. So basically, to define another list, we use the OL, UL, UL actually for another list. And then inside that, uh, that list, you, you define your list items. And then it is a banana. Pop. For example, if it were a cherry or any other thing, you could uh, add it here at the bottom. But I don't want to go to that. I don't want to make it more uh, professional. So what I do, let me just uh, check it out how it looks like. Uh, so guys, you can see now we have a list. Uh, it looks like this. Or uh, let me perhaps try to say to say something like uh, let me say. Uh, let me use a H3. Uh, let me say. Uh, is h3 and then uh, let me say perhaps here are my favorite favorite uh, fruits fruits and then uh, here let me just say uh, close h3 and then um, yeah so um, like this 
And then what I do, let me just, you know, save. And let me save and then uh, what I do, let me just, you know, refresh. So guys, I basically you can see this, I can do that. And of course, guys, I can, I can just say, for example, let me try to change something like, I want to make it more professional, like, let me just share it, say sharing. Then I here, let me say something like uh, mango or apple. I here, let me say um, uh, orange. I here, let me say something like um, uh, purple. Then I let me save. And then uh, let me try to refresh. Yeah, so guys, basically, this is this what this is the another list. This actually is the and uh, this is uh, an ordered list. We also have the ordered list. Ordered list it starts with the OL, and like uh, this one, be, which began with the UL, this one begins with the. You can see an ordered list begins the, with the UL, but uh, ordered list begins with the o, OL. OL. So ordered list is the list that has you know numbers like I can say one, two, three, four, five, or A, B, C, D. So those are examples of ordered lists. Let me try to run and see how it look like. Uh, so you can see now it is uh, this way so basically this is how you can uh, you know do that and um uh so guys uh, basically you can also have uh, the description about the list you can also have some description so um html description list um we think it is supported on most browsers so a description list is a list is a list of terms with a description for reach for example if you want to describe a uh, banana in details you can uh, you can uh, do that uh, so um how do you go about that so um so i'll say what let me just use a new item here perhaps description list if i want to use the description list again you'll just say let me just um uh, uh here description list you just specify dl I think I have some space. Oh, guys, I deleted that line of. Um, let me just say what. Let me just say uh, DL. DL. Guys, perhaps let me just. Uh, I always like when I code here the browser. I have some spaces here where I can, you know, scroll up and down so that I can show you better. So uh, I forgot I deleted everything. So I just say uh, div. Uh -huh div and then uh, uh what i do here let me just add in the padding uh, style padding and then i here i add in padding what a padding top it was a 100 pixel uh create now that description list for example if you want to have uh, the description list just do this dl and then uh this is the start tag, then at the end tag it is um, it is a forward slash, then a DL, and then a forward slash like that. And then I guess basically what I'll do here, let me just say um, uh, DT for basically now that uh, ta, 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 data, but basically description or the description, um, uh, basically description item or a description, um, a description term. I say DT description term actually the time the time that uh, we want to describe and so it will be like this and this, it has the start tag and then uh, the end tag D description term basically the term is like uh, the item that I want to uh, you know uh, to, to describe like you can say for example let's say uh, name tag let me say name tag uh, hmm, name tag and then now, uh, uh, so the description, uh, description, uh, description, uh, actually, uh, the description now itself, you use a DT, a DD for a description, DD, not to describe, description, descri describe, or a description, description. Then uh, here you just say, uh, you can say, for example, let me use a hyphen here, and then a pass, let me say, for example, um, uh, let me say, is a top let me say is a top tech learning a platform is a top tech learning platform and of course you have the closing tag let me just 
I'll do this, then I'll close in tag for DD. What I do, let me just duplicate and have several. Uh, let me duplicate and have several. Uh, so guys, I remember I repeat everything while uh, I repeat everything in CSS, including the styling, and of course to change the the list type, style type, and all that. Let me just. Uh, so guys, uh, basically you can see this. I can do that with the description or whatever the description uh, list, HTML description list. But I uh, guess I don't want to go into details in HTML. Don't want to confuse you. I think by the time we'll be discussing CSS, we'll have some skills. Of course, you can change the type of order. For example, you can use even romance. You can even use alphabetical that like A, B, C, D. You can use uh, anything which is orderly or an order. You can use even the the asterisk. You can use uh, anything, guys. But uh, for that, I think it's good for me to teach uh, in CSS. So stick in this channel until we tackle the CSS uh, for you to understand. Uh, you know, a much better. So, guys, okay, so basically, we have uh, we have uh, two type of uh, elements. Uh, we have the inline C uh, elements, and then we have the block elements. So, this is very fundamental, guys, for you to understand uh, the types of uh, the inline and the block uh, HTML elements. So, perhaps every every HTML element has a default display value, depending on what type of element it is. So there are two, type, two, two display values. We have the block and the inline parts. Let me begin with the block level elements. Now a block level element uh, always starts in a new line and our browsers automatically add a space or a margin or a margin before or and after the element. Now uh, a block level element always takes up the full width available, stretches out to the left and uh, you know uh, as far as, as it can so the the the, the common uh, the common used to block uh, uh, the perhaps the paragraph or a div or a, you know div basically these are the common type of uh, block level elements so basically this one begins in a new line but uh, we also have the inline the inline is like uh, the anger tag the anger tag like uh, let me just show you guys for an, an example so that you may relate so let me create here an anger tag, guys. An anger tag. So like, uh, let me just say, um, uh, let me just say what, let me just say, uh, anger tag, then uh, hyper reference, the attribute, uh, hyper reference. Let me assign here to, perhaps let me say in a, uh, HTTPS, and then a uh, name tag, name tag dot com. And then uh, here, uh, sorry, first of all, let me close. And then uh, here, let me say, this is an inline, inline, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, tag or uh, attribute. Uh, let me just say tag, and tag, and then uh, you, you close. Uh, you close, and then uh, how do you close? Like this, and then uh, you close. So guys, uh, basically, um, this should be this should be beginning a new line, but uh, you'll find out that it is stretch in an, in, a, in another line. Like uh, let me just save these two. Perhaps let me say this is um the, let me say this is a second. Let me say this is a second a second in line tag. So uh, let me just refresh and see how it will look like. So guys, you can see it doesn't begin in a new line. The inline tag. But you can see for the others, now for the others, it begins from a new line. Like if you have the paragraph tag, you always see that it begins in a new line. But for inline, this one uh, begins, uh, this one stretches, uh, basically this goes and uh, extends from the previous line. So this one it doesn't have to begin in a new line for basically that's for inline. Now the examples like uh, the, and those are superscripts, the, the input, for example, shall talk about the, 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 the forms in details later. We have, we have uh, the script. So basically, those, those are examples of uh, the inline. Even the break tag, we have the uh, subscript and superscript. So basically, those are examples of uh, inline. Uh, we shall talk about that. Also, span. Uh, we have uh, uh, basically span. Uh, span is, uh, is an example of what is the, uh, basically this one is uh, an inline. This one is an inline container used to mark up a part of a text. 
So guys, are basically what I do next. Um, perhaps let me. I'll talk about these stuff, guys. While we while we will be dealing with CSS, I just want to give you uh, the basics so that uh, you may uh, get the concept here. Now let me talk about the. Let me talk about the uh, uh, the attribute. Uh, let me talk about the what uh, the uh, the HTML classes perhaps. So um. Basically, the HTML class attribute is, is used to specify uh, to specify for an HTML document. For example, if you want to style anything, you might want to have a class so that when you style, for example, you might have uh, several paragraph tags, but uh, you want to style a particular paragraph only and uh, leave the, the rest. So these classes, they help you a uh, link or uh, find or uh, specify a uh, part of a HTML. So, um, so the class attribute is often used to point uh, to a class name in a, in a style sheet uh, CSS. It can also be used by JavaScript to accept and manipulate elements with a specific class name. So, um, like guess let me just have an example here. Let me just have an example. Let me just uh, delete the other content here, guys, so that I don't want to complicate things. So, um, let me just do this. Let me just say what. Let me say, for example, let me just create a two paragraph or, or a two headings. Uh, let me create two headings. I don't know why um, I deleted things that I wanted to use. So let me use again H. Let me use H2. And then uh, let me say what. Let me say this is a paragraph. This is a heading. Heading. This is a heading. And of course, um, and of course, uh, you have to add in the closing tag for H2, like that. And then you close. Now, let me just duplicate. You can see, guys, that when you duplicate, they are the same content. Let me just let's try to see. Let me save. I want to show you how these uh, these classes applies. You can see they are the same things, right? But I want to uh, to add the class, and uh, you see how it's gonna affect uh, affect particular you know uh, heading. So, like uh, for example, how do you add the class? Remember, is a, is, a, is an attribute. An attribute begins in a in a in the start tag. So just say class class like this. Then uh, the value must be in the quotes. Remember that the 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 the, the both uh, appear for quotes actually. Then you can you can say for example, let me say um uh let me just what which class can I give it like let me say um. <laughs> Let me just call it uh, perhaps main. Let me just call it something like a main. Main. So uh, so now, guys, I want to use here an, an, an external style. Uh, let me just use an internal style sheet here. Aladdin style. Uh, style is a is a is a tag. So I'm used to to I'm used to Visual Studio Code. You know, it usually have the auto completion stuff. But uh, here, I'll have to say what. Uh, I'm not really it should be style style. Style, what is the building for style? Style, style, and then uh, it has the closing tag. Style, style like that. And then now uh, here, now to specify the, the class, use the dot, you begin with the dot, dot, and then uh, you say main, if you want to style that. So it will pull this class name and it will affect only the first paragraph. Then I have to use the braces in CSS. We shall talk about CSS in my next upload video. And then here you can say, for example, color. Let me say color. Give it red. Let me give it red. And then let me save. And then I guess I will see that only first heading will be affected here. You can see this. So basically, uh, these are classes are quite important because uh, they help you to style uh, these uh, content very well and of course you can as well use it in javascript but uh, for javascript i don't want to go to that case you might um you might not like it let me just stick with the basics yeah, let me just stick with the basics guys for you to uh to understand or uh, guys can i show you um should i show you javascript a bit Perhaps uh, we shall talk about JavaScript later in uh, in our future uploads. But uh, let me talk about let me talk about the ID. 
let me talk about the ID though I touched on ID uh, previously. So basically ID also uh, is used to specify the unique ID for an element. So you cannot have more than one uh, one element with the same ID in a HTML document. So basically the uh, the ID attribute, attribute specify a unique ID for an HTML element and that the value of the ID attribute must be unique within the HTML uh, document. So basically the idea attribute is used to point to a specific style declaration in a style sheet and uh, you can uh, uh, it can also be used in JavaScript to access and manipulate the elements with the same uh, specific ID. I'll show you everything is of course we shall also have projects. I have around 20 projects on web development which, are, which I shall show you how these things will apply but in the meantime guys uh, um, uh, let me just tell you that uh, um, the syntax for ID is is, uh, is written with the hash character, the hash character, so followed by the ID name. So then, uh, the, the, then uh, basically the CSS properties you, you to, to to use it, you have to use it in the in the in the in the braces if you want to sell it. For example, I showed you earlier though. Uh, how can I? So our uh, guys above, let me just show you how I can uh, style the same. But with what? Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Let me just show you how you can style with with the ID. You can in, you can see initially we used to have to use the the K. Let me just copy this. Let me create now here the second one. Let me use an ID, an ID. Then I'll assign here to. I say that it it begins with what? It begins with a with a hash followed by the ID name. And so how do you say that how do you uh, define first of all the id id to define it just specify just like uh, the classes you just specify uh you just specify what like uh, for example let me just say my id my id but uh, to use it, it must begin with a with a hash to use it in css you say for example hash and then uh, you say what um then uh, followed by my uh, the id name my id of which is my id then at the braces I said, uh, so uh, here in these are braces, I say uh, color, color perhaps let me give it blue, color, uh, blue, color blue, and then uh, let me save, and then uh, let me refresh, and then I guess you can see uh, it's now uh, styling, we talked about that, but uh, I have a profound uh, discussion on the same in the CSS, so uh, don't worry much about that. You are gonna understand these styles much deeper in our and uh, in our uh, basically in our next uh, course, which is CSS. The, let me talk about the iframes in a few. Now, a uh, HTML iframe is used to to display a web page within a page. So, and uh, basically, a good example, uh, a good a good example is um, for example, if you want to display a, a map, a Google map. The API for Google, actually the Google Map, you you can do it. You can uh, you can do the same with the iframe. So basically, remember the essence here is to the the iframe is used to display another page to another page. So um, uh, let me just you know show you uh, that. Now we have the iframe tag which specify an inline uh, an inline you know frame iframe inline frame. So an inline frame is used to embed other documents within the a current HTML uh, document. So it is usually, um, let me just show you that, guys, in our body. Remember, anything you want to be displayed in the browser must be inside the body. So basically, here the syntax. Syntax, let me just show you, uh, I'll tell you. It is iframe, in inline frame. So iframe, and then I see ARC. And then I, here you will specify what? Here you specify the uh, the URL. You are uh, basically URL URL like that, and then um, you can give a title. Of course, you can say, for example, title. A title. And then uh, you can uh, specify the title. Uh, let me just use a double quotes. Um, yeah, you know. And then here you can say uh, describe your description. You can just say uh, title. Then you can have the description. And then I remember to always have what? 
it always have the closing tag iframe uh, iframe 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 like that and then uh, what i do guys uh, for example let me use uh, my my website let me use a uh, name tag so i say for example https and then here i'll say what i'll say um uh it is name tag dot com and then uh, let me just try to save and see how it look like uh, with that iframe so let me uh, refresh and then uh, let me give it some time to load so it's trying to load my website the name tech website so um it's gonna take some time i don't know my internet is quite uh, slow today but uh, guys you can see now it has loaded what that website of course you can add more styling but you can see now it is displaying what uh my website inside these stuffs so guys uh, you can do it you can um, uh, see how it look it looks like and of course you can add in the uh, uh quite uh, you can add in the uh the what you can add in the the height you can specify the height and the width uh the width and the height and the width for example you can say for example you can say style style uh style uh, style um style then i can specify um hmm. i can specify for example a width you can uh, give it even 100 percent uh not really guys uh, here we use the the the, the, the column to, to to separate the the property in the in the the the, the value so you can say percent and then uh, let me just try to save that way and then i see how it will look like so uh basically this is just a bonus this is just a bonus but uh guys uh, basically this is how you can display another another what another website uh, a website inside another website so this is how you can do that definitely basically do that of course let me just close this section and then uh, guys, you can see now we have another website inside another website so basically this is how you can uh, work with the iframes and of course so for example if you want to embed to embed uh, you know uh, the the they are called what the the google maps i think they have the the iframe there you can uh, you can so for example let's say uh, maps maps.google.com uh, for example let's search somewhere for example let me just say loration Laurentia Springs apartment here in Nairobi and then uh, for example if you want to, to embed that iframe just click on the share then I embed the map and then you can see now we have this iframe and then uh, you can copy the URL and then now uh, when you paste here it will do it it will uh, display that iframe let me just uh, uh, and just uh, save and uh, see how it look like so remember the essence here of using the iframe it is just used to do it to to embed a website inside another 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 website uh, to embed to embed um, another document within the current document actually the, the another page inside another page so for example you can see this is how you can do it you can apply the um, you know uh such stuffs guys i think i've understood we shall talk about these stuffs uh, in details as we, as we go on but in the meantime guys let me tackle something is um let me talk about perhaps let me touch on javascript because on web development uh, the, the html CSS, and javascript are quite quite important so let me talk about the javascript just in a few just to give you a glimpse of what javascript can do so that uh you may be op optimistic guys so basically javascript make uh, makes html page more dynamic and interactive and um, the html uh, script tag we, we use the script tag to define the to, to define our client side you know script actually javascript so basically the script element either contains script statements or it points to an external script a file through the src uh, the src attribute we shall talk about the javascript in details while we'll be discussing the javascript but now to select an html document uh, javascript most often uses the document of uh, get element by id a method 
And so, um, so basically, uh, this uh, this graph. Let me just get here something. Should I delete these tabs? Uh, okay, so let me just delete this tab so that uh, it may not, you know, have, uh, you know, kill our space. Because I think you have understood that. Let me talk about. Let me show you guys an example of um, of a JavaScript. So perhaps I'll say. Let me first of all create. A, let me just say right here something like. Let me just use a paragraph tag p tag uh, p p tag, and then um, of course it has the tag start tag and the, the end tag. <laughs> it should be p and then in, in between you write your content like i can say for example let me just say uh, uh can, what can i say let me or uh, let me just leave it the way it is first of all let, let me give it empty and then uh, here i'll do it i'll specify the id you must have the id here and the id should be unique uh, here you can say for example let me just say give it something like even demo demo for demonstration and then here now to use a script tag you can point it to an external sheet but i guess a good practice ensure that you will use javascript at the bottom here at the bottom here because uh, you might have you know complications to render your your data um where is the body i forgot i should have um, closed the body tag like this uh, body like this I, I forgot remember it has a start again anything you want to be displayed in the browser must have there must be inside the the, uh, the the body it should be what it should be inside this uh, uh start tag and the end tag of the body should be in between that so basically i've defined what i've defined that uh, the the id the, uh, the id there so i want to add in some functionality here um so uh so what i do is right here let me just try to do it let me just say um you can see here the content here is empty but i want to display something there later so i'll use the script tag a script a script and then um i'll use that i'll use a script i'll use a backslash first of all as then i'll say script a script and then now what i'll do is here let me just uh, close and then uh, here now guys to point and uh, basically uh, to, to to target now the id basically to specify the id or to to style uh, something we use uh, this method called a uh, document document dot uh, get uh, get element remember this one is camel case element 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 by id we shall talk about these uh, variables later in future uh, like uh, we'll talk about the snake case camel case pascal case so this one is an example of a camel case uh, kind of um uh, these are these these are default uh, method in what uh, in javascript then i uh, here specify your id it was it was a demo demo our id was demo and demo and then uh, you can add in some styling like you can say for example uh, let me say dot dot inner inner html inner html you can assign here to uh, something like uh, let me say uh, let me say something like a uh, name tech is awesome name tech is awesome like that and then uh, uh, you always close uh, javascript statements with the same column like that uh, i see here use a document instead of document should be document right document i should have used remember this one is a uh, this one is camel case so every initial word begins with a capital is except the first letter so it should be element by then id should be small i begins with a capital but id begins with a small so let me save and see uh how it will look like here yeah, guys you can see now name tech is awesome basically and again uh, basically this is just an example of the javascript but uh this is just a test of javascript javascript is very very um fun it's very uh, important it can change even the color it can change the from the css colors to different colors anything you can it can style anything guys and uh we shall talk about javascript later but uh, in a nutshell 
this is about the javascript uh, so guys the other thing perhaps let me try to talk about the the code or the computer code so for example you can see a good example is a name tag let me just uh, open name tag and see how they look like name tag for example the examples that i used to describe or to show you the codes like uh, for example let me uh, open the let me open the what the uh, for example this html and let me just you know um let me just open the html and show you something so uh, i want to show you how you can display the computer code for example you can see this this one is an example for code so you might want to display in the browser such codes so so that it may be displayed in a such a format where um people can just know that uh, this one was a uh, code or uh, or whatever so like uh, for example if you want to display the python code here on the on the or uh, here you can just say for example use the code actually the code element code actually a code uh, element like this then uh, it has the start tag and uh, the closing tag uh, so code and then uh, uh, inside this code you can place your for example let's create a python variable like uh, the python variables are, are used uh, to store values to be used later for example let's say for example our uh, five and uh, let me just use javascript variables here and then uh, let me use uh, for example y and then i assign it to something like uh, let's say uh, six and then uh, what is uh, here perhaps z z let me assign here to perhaps uh, x plus y i'm just writing random uh, random stuff like this and then uh, what i do is uh, let me just you know save and i uh, see how it will look like on the browser uh, so uh, let me refresh and then i guess so basically this is how you can uh, display what you know the the code this is how you can uh, display you know the uh, the you know the computer code uh, as our uh, programming codes uh, so guys uh, for example if you want to, to display some content to, like uh, to show the keyboard input you just you might want to say um like uh, for example let me say to refresh let me just use uh let me just uh do it let me say uh, here let me just say for example to refresh let me use a uh, h3 first of all let me just declare these tabs first uh, let me declare these tabs and then i uh, here I'll say for example let me use um uh, let me say for example to display keyboard keyboard uh, shortcut or uh, keyboard uh, keyboard input keyboard input keyboard uh, in, uh, let me say input input um input uh dot uh write save the document by uh, to display the keyboard input uh you write uh, i uh, let me just say example I don't know I'm complicating this simple stuff so let me say to display keyboard input example here you can say then I here you can use a kbd tag for keyboard k kbd for keyboard a keyboard input it has a start tag and at the end tag for example it is um uh, the end tags can be can be it will be displayed in monospace format uh kbd like that and then here you can pass in for example uh to save this a uh, document it is uh c t r l then uh, plus s2 to, to save so let me just you know save and see how it will look like so okay, as you can see now it is uh it is kind of monospaced right so uh, basically this is how you can now uh, work on the computer codes uh, so guys, the other thing perhaps let me talk about the semantic elements and uh basically semantic elements these are elements with them with the meaning so basically uh this semantic clearly describes uh it's it's mean it's meaning to both the browser and uh, developers for example you can have uh, the article the article tag you can have the form tag you can have the table tag you can have the section tab you know this is quite easy for example it is and i remember it applies in every in, in everything so you can uh, just use it for example even the footer you can use it in wh wherever you want like uh, for example for the heading 
uh, basically for uh, basically for photo you can just say photo and then uh, you write your photo content there so basically these are very very important uh, should I show you that case okay, about uh, um, I think I'll talk about here in details while we will be, while we will be discussing CSS but uh, in a nutshell you can use something like even footer let me just say here yeah, let me say footer uh, remember anything must any any HTML document that you want to be rendered on the page should be below above actually above the, the script JavaScript so for it actually to be uh, professional like you can say even footer footer and then uh, start tag and then and then at the end tag you can see uh, also footer you know these are quite you know uh, descriptive you can understand the code easily with these are uh, semantic HTML elements you can just know that this one is a footer so for example you can say uh, this is a footer but uh, I think while we will be developing a website you will understand the, uh, the, the meaning of these terms in details but um, just you can see now it display this is a footer so we shall talk about these terms guys in details while we'll be discussing the or i will be developing a website so for you to understand uh, basically uh, what it does uh, so guys uh, basically perhaps let me talk about the html element uh, actually entities so basically we have uh, reserved characters in html which must be replaced with the uh, character entities for example you cannot for example if you want to display the if you want to display the angle bracket for less than um, uh, you can use you, uh, for example if you want to uh, to, to use um, these tags for example um, let's say angle bracket for less than and are greater than like this so sometimes it can be difficult to be displayed uh, and to be displayed sometimes it can be considered as a you know as a, as a content for example if you want to add in some content inside it can be difficult like uh, let me say for example if you want to say for example um let me say for example um uh let me say content or any, anything content it, i don't know if it will work but uh let me just try to save and see how it will look like so as you can see it it, it can be you know it doesn't uh, a display well it cannot you know appear here so basically for this case we have um, uh, some characters which are reserved in html that you can use it to display something like uh, for example uh, to display the sign for uh, the angle or the basically the less than we must we must use the and a l t like uh, for example if uh, you want to use um, um let me just show you now to display this uh, stuff very well you'll use what you use uh, this uh, and you begin with the and uh, the symbol and and then uh, you uh, you 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 write what lt and then you close with this uh, semicolon and then now uh, the closing tag here if you want to display it you lose what the and and then a uh, hash uh, 60 as uh, so you see like this then you close so it will be displayed uh, it will be displayed so let me just try to run and see how it will look like yeah so as you can see now it is or again so basically let me show you how you can find the and the top tile web the top tile website usually have what the top tile website usually have these entities so let me see html symbols it is symbols entities and code let me just say entities uh, and this uh, HTML uh, symbols entities and because I think it's somewhere here uh, the top tier, yeah top tier, they have uh, uh, you know a numerous stuff like that so for example if you want to do, to display this art you just use the you just copy this HTML code and I do it and uh, use it on your code for example uh, here you can say for example instead of this one which you which wasn't working you can just place that one then it will be the art the art so when you run you can see it now display that art so basically this is just an example of uh, html symbols uh, actually entities so you'll find more details about that in the 
on the website. Uh, the same apply with the, you know, uh, with the what, with the emojis. Uh, so guys, uh, basically, let me talk about the emojis. Let me talk about the emojis. And uh, emojis are characters from the UTF-8 uh, character sets. And uh, basically, emojis are like just images or icon, but they are not, you know, they are not, they are not images or uh, icons. They are just letters or uh, characters from the UTF-8 Unicode uh, character set. So, for example, if I want to display, um, or to display what if uh, to display an HTML page correctly, a web browser must know the character set used in the in the web page. So you have to add in that metadata on the head. So, for example, if you want to use uh, such stuff, you have to do it. You have to use a uh, uh, this a uh, meta, just say meta, and then a character set or a char set. Char set you can assign here to UTF. Uh, it should be UTF, UTF or a Unicode, U, Unicode UTF, uh, U, UTF what? Uh, UTF and then um, eight. We use eight. So basically, in this way, of course, you have to uh, to close it. It's a self closing tag, but uh, the, the the first tag should be closed like that. So, for example, if you want to display some emojis. Uh, you can just do it. I can just say, for example, let's have something here to be displayed, to display some, you know, emojis um, somewhere. So, for example, if you want to display A, B, C, D in the Unicode format in the code, you just say, for example, um, to display the keyboard. But, uh, let me just say, type here A, B, C, D instead of uh, typing A. Instead of using this A, B, I'll use the encode, you know, uh, to display them. So, for example, I can just say and. That is for A. I'm writing for A and. And then uh, it is a hash. And then a 65. 65, uh, comma. And then uh, let me just copy. <laughs> no, the, I don't want to repeat. So, 66 will be B. 65, 66. 67 will be C. So let me save. And then now uh, here on the browser, it will be A, B, C, D. You can see now it is A, B, C, D. So basically, this is how you can use the Unicode uh, to display uh, such stuff. So MOG are character sets from the UTF-8 alpha, alpha, basically alphabet. So for example, if you want to display um, uh, any emoji, let me just show you how you can display any, any, any emoji. But I uh, remember, um, uh, Giza, let me just show you that. Let me just show you, for example, if, uh, if I want to display an emoji. Here I'll say, for example, uh, it begins with the and, always, and, then a hash, and then a hash. You can go to the top title website and find these uh, symbols, uh, or these emojis, hash, and then, uh, for example, 128, 128. Five, uh, five, uh, twelve. Always it ends with a closing tab. So this way to display what an emoji. Let me run and see how it looks like. You can see now we have the emoji for love. Uh, so guys, uh, the next thing I want us to talk about the forms. Of course, I've just cleared this uh, browser so that it may be uh, clean for us to code other stuffs. I want to talk about the forms. Uh, so first of all, let's understand what is html form now uh, a html form is used to collect user input and uh, the user input is often most sent to the server for processing you can use a uh, server side language like a php django and others so um now uh basically the html form element is used to create the html form for for the users so how do you create the uh, the form so basically the tag is just html let me just uh, create some spaces here, bigger space. And then uh, here, I guess I want to. So just like uh, any other HTML form, it has it has the start tag form, and then uh, it has the end tag. End tag like this form, a uh, form, and then uh, your content or uh, your input fields or anything related to the form uh, goes uh, inside here inside this form, uh, basically the form elements. So basically the form element is a container for different types of inputs, such as, you know, text fields, we can have uh, check boxes, you can have uh, radio buttons, you can have submit button and so forth. So um, 
and the input perhaps let me talk about the input the html input element is the most uh, uh used form of element like you can ask the users to type in the username uh the first name perhaps the last name the username the password and all that so basically it is commonly used and uh, it can be displayed in many ways depending on the type of the attribute so you can uh, you can display a single line text in input by using the input type and then uh, you give it text uh, for radio type will be a uh, radio for checkboxes the type will be a uh, checkbox for as a type uh, basically for submit the type will be a uh, submit so for um, uh, for clickable button or any, any button it should be the type should be button so let's begin perhaps with the uh, text input for you to understand very well so for example uh, let me have some label first of all let me say for example uh, label let's begin with the label for example to, rec to, to request people to write their first name so I say label label this is the spelling for label not really label and then uh, label for, for what so it is label for and then you can say you can give it um let me use a double quotes you can use a single it's not uh um, you know uh, it's not a conversion to use uh single or a double so let me say f name for first name or you can just say uh, uh, first name in full and then uh, here you can assign here to this is the attribute for label and then uh, you can just type in here uh, the first your first name first first name first first name and then i remember it has the closing tag so it will be um it will be br I actually not really remember it has the closing tag which is uh label 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 like this and then uh, uh so yeah so this is the label and then of course you can have the input let's have the what let's have the break tag so that it may begin on the on the, on the other line i think i talk about the break tag how to break the lines for example if you write for inline inline code it will just be a continuous stuff so it's a good practice to use the break tag so that you may split content into the new line so you will say for example br to split the line and then here i want to add in the input field for these are first name so i'll say a uh, input input i'll say what i'll say um for example first of all let me open and close so that i may not forget so and then i let me say input mm, input by the case i advise you all always to ensure that you have the close the start tag and the close tag so that um, before you begin to add in your attribute so that you may not uh, be confused later so it is it is input like that and then now let's return to uh, let's return to what um i remember this one is a set closing so you don't have to have the closing tag you can have it or you can just choose to leave it at the way it is however inside it you can do it you can add in like the type for example if you want a single line of text you can use what the text if you just want to have um, the single line of text so for example if you want to have what if you want to have a, to display a single line a text input field you just use this a text attribute and then uh, uh perhaps let's also add in the id so that it can relocate to that uh, f name it may be linked to the f name so i'll say what i'll say um id i can assign here to a uh, f name f name f name like this uh, f name and then um of course you can also have uh, the name uh you can also have the name then a uh, name attribute then i uh, here you can give it um for example f name f name f name uh, remember guys that these steps are quite important especially if you you'll be collecting your forms this content is quite important so here guys i'll just change here to i'll just change here to uh, let me just duplicate i remember the input is still let me just try to at least make some space there so the second one can be for example last name l name l name 
and then I here I change it to last name last name last name like that and then now where else uh, should I change here should be for example let me change the ID to L name and then uh, <coughs> you know here also let me change it to uh, L name so of course uh, yeah so uh, let me save first of all of course here I should also add in the break tag right where here let me add in the break tag so that it may begin in a new line so it should be br so let me save and then uh, see how how it will be displayed so as you can see uh, you, we have now the user input someone can type in their name like a lesson in my work is ah no i should be named my first of all then the last name is what we we type in the uh, my last name so guys you can see this is how you can add in the the, the input uh, so guys uh, by default the width here is uh, 20 20 you know 20 for 20 characters actually the width you know uh, fits in 20 characters but uh, you can style with you can style with um uh, with a css and uh, make it more bigger or more smaller uh, depending on your uh, you know preferences so perhaps let me talk about the labels you saw me using uh, labels here uh, let me perhaps talk about this uh, label uh, you know element here so guys uh, basically um, the label tag defines the label for many uh, form elements if you have several uh, elements uh, actually uh, many elements inside your form like in this case we have the you know the last the, the, the first name last name and all that perhaps you can have another one for username so using the, the label it is very helpful you can just help the users understand that uh, um, uh, they want me to fill here the first name so using the you know uh, uh, using the label is quite important to use uh, to basically to work on that perhaps guys let me talk about the radio button the radio button uh, actually the it's called what is called uh, yeah, the radio buttons so basically radio buttons lets uh, a user select one of the limited number of choices you can have several number of choices but with the radio button you can only select one so let me show you that so guys basically in that case you just have to uh, use the uh, only input right you can just uh, or uh, you can uh, as well have the label yeah sure you can have the label so let's have uh, for example let's begin with the label and then uh, the, the, uh, the the input then at uh, the label later so for example let's say uh, uh the first element should be input input or right, guys uh, let me just say input and then uh, here um uh, remember it's a self closing tag sorry it's a self closing tag and then uh, here guys i can type in what i can type in uh, my type type i can give it um so for radio the type so is gonna be a radio it's gonna be a radio if you want to, to people to select one item among many items use the radio and then uh, it uh, basically id should be id sorry i'm a lawyer so don't uh, you know should understand we have the mother tongue influence in our in our in our language so let me say HTML, for example, the first uh, ID. Then uh, the name can be, for example, my favorite language. Um, so it should be name, name also. So it should be name, a name, and then uh, here I'll give it, uh, uh, you know, uh, my favorite language. Perhaps I can say uh, fav, uh, fav language or underscore language. Uh, favorite favorite language i can say uh, you know name i can give it uh, html then the value a value can be something like let's say value value can be uh, value can be what value can be something like uh, let's say um uh, html can be html the value there html and then uh, we can also have the label for that so let me say label not really should be inside the the, 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 the angle bracket for less than and uh, greater uh, greater than so um label and label like this and then uh, this one that has the closing tag as well so label a uh, label like this but i uh, remember the closing tag has what default slash like this 
And then here you can pass in, for example, HTML, HTML, uh, HTML. And then uh, what I do, guys, uh, here, I'll add in what? Label for, uh, label for what? For, uh, for HTML. Should be HT, HTML. So, um, so for HTML, remember this HTML is, 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 is referring to this ID here. So it's for HTML. Then of course we can add in the break tag somewhere. Let me say, say BR. BR. So guys, basically what I want to do, let me just duplicate and make perhaps for CSS and JavaScript. Uh, for CSS and JavaScript. Of course here at the end I should have... Um, yeah, yeah, let it be the way it is. But uh, here, guys, I'll change it to uh, CSS, right? Uh, CSS, and then a value I'll give it here. CSS, and then uh, here also the label is going to be uh, for CSS. Then uh, the name should be what? CSS. Um, so um, here I'll give it what? JavaScript, let me just use JS, JS, value, I can give it JavaScript, uh, JavaScript, JavaScript, and JavaScript, and then I worry some, um, so here label, this one is for JS, you can say JS, remember the idea is JS, and then, um, of course, you can also have what you can also have um, the. Um, of course, yeah, it's okay. Let me just uh, here I can change it to JavaScript. Let me say Java script. And so let me save and uh, see how it will look like. So on the browser, let's refresh. Then I guess you can see now we have this uh, check box. With check boxes, someone can pick only one among the unlimited choices. So basically, this is about the uh, radio. This is about what this is about the radio, the radio, the radio buttons. So we also have another one called a checkbox. A checkbox is now this one allows you to do what this one allows you to to select several among the limited and limited or a limited number of uh, you know uh, inputs. So you can uh, select several items at a go. So for example, um. So, uh, for example, guys, I can do it. I can uh, uh, do it. Uh, uh, let me just use the same, but here I just change the type to be a checkbox. So instead of radio, I'll use what I'll use a checkbox. Check, a uh, checkbox like this. Checkbox. Uh, is it so? I think this pen is for checkbox. Yeah. A checkbox then uh, here i'll change here from radio i'll give it what uh, checkbox and then uh, here also i'll give it what a uh, checkbox like that and then uh, of course um uh so uh, here i can change here from language one to perhaps from favorite language one i can give it here this one to be two this can be three uh, so at least you make it different different and then, um, so let me save and see if uh, 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 if things are okay. Let me just refresh. Then, I guess you can see now you can select many items. You can select, deselect many items. It is not like at the radio button where you, when you say you can only select one among the limited choice. So with the check with the check boxes, you can select several items at a go. Now, sometimes there's a you want to send the data or I want to collect the user, uh, you know, preferences on the browser. So, for example, uh, you can say what you can say, for example, the first name, you can uh, ask users to type in their name, then uh, the preferred languages, and then uh, you say what you, um, then you do what you collect, you want to, to the, the users to submit their data. So, guys, okay, so basically in that case, uh, so let me say, for example, let me add in another one. For example, to add to make it at least more, uh, more, more fun. So I'll say, for example, um, uh, let me say label. 
label uh, sorry so let me say label label should be label label for what label for uh, let me just uh, assign here to perhaps a uh, full name let me say full name full name full name and then uh, i can close it and then uh, perhaps uh, let me say enter and a full name perhaps full name and a full name and then uh, here i'll add in what i'll add in the uh, of course it has the closing tag of course the label uh, should be label so like this and then now uh, let me add in the input for label so i'll say uh, so i'll say input uh, input type is gonna be Type let me assign here to text. Uh, should be what should be text. Uh -huh. Let me say text. Text and then uh, the ID. <coughs> ID can be something like um. Uh, Cause I want to refer to this a uh, uh, full name here. I just copy the full name. Then I uh, use the same here. Then uh, the <coughs> uh, what the the name can be the same uh, can be the full name and then our is um, <laughs> uh, perhaps value uh, value I can assign here to the same perhaps I can assign here to um, I can assign here to perhaps uh, let me just say full name let me just say full name uh, let me just say name let me just say name and then I, this one will be fine and then uh, what I do guys uh, let me just of course um, the value basically the value when I use the value here it will be de defaulted there so for example let me just let me just uh, you can even use the placeholder you can even use the uh, let me just use a placeholder here guys uh, let me just use the play or uh, before that let me just uh, cross and see how it will look like so of course you must have the br tag so let me say br let me say br and then uh, here perhaps i can add in what i can add in the h2 uh, or a paragraph uh, let me say p then uh, let me say uh, select your languages Okay. so guys when you have such an information let me just try to uh to, to have some spaces there so that you can understand the codes better so let me save and then uh, let me refresh first of all i want to, to talk about the, the the submit button but uh before that i want to show you how you can so guys uh, you can have the value or a placeholder i think placeholder is always uh, best uh to 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 use let me use a uh, placeholder. I think placeholder is always fine. Let me use instead of value, let me use a place holder. Placeholder, and then uh, where? Uh, sorry, because I'm using at the wrong place. So, uh, so where the full name here? Let me say, uh, and uh, value can be what? Uh, so, uh, not really, it should be placeholder now. enter name like i can just say enter name enter name let me save and see how placeholder look like so this one is kind of nice right guys you can just type in enter your name so when you begin to type then it it disappears so i think placeholder is fine then now uh, uh, then uh, they can select their language and what have you so uh, once they are finished you might want to collect this data to the server so to do that, I guess you can use the submit uh, function, the submit button. So how do you do, how do, do you add the submit button? But I remember guys, uh, for that, so for you to submit, you must add in the action. So for, for this form, you must add in the attribute called action. Action, for example, if I want to send it to the server, the server to be submitted there, 
you might want to you must specify here the the action of course we shall talk about uh, php later or a jungle but in the meantime let me use hash so that it may not have any effect now once you have for example if you hedge the the action there you might also want to add in the the submit button here at the bottom so we'll say input uh for uh, we'll say input uh, input uh, input uh, input the remember is a self closing tag and then uh, here you can say for example uh, let's say type here is going to be submit uh, type is going to be submit type is going to be some submit and then uh, the value uh, the value can be perhaps let me give it a some basically value let me give it a, a value like let me just say submit let me say sub submit like that let me save and see how it will look like so let me refresh and then uh, guys i can see uh, how it is remember now it can't work because uh, because we don't have what we don't have the backend here so but uh, people can fill in their name they can select their language uh, and then I do it, then I submit, but I don't want because uh, it is what it is, uh, it's not, uh, it's not a uh, functioning, right? It's not uh, collecting data. We haven't, you know, coded the backend. We shall talk about the, the PHP later or a Django. Basically, I'll first begin with the, with the, with the Django, then later I shall talk about the, you know, and the, the 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 PHP PHP is also quite uh, useful and the most powerful website like even WordPress and uh, many other e-learning platforms they use PHP so PHP is uh, quite uh, uh, important to understand it so perhaps let me talk about the action attribute in detail so as I saw earlier guys uh, we used the action attribute here uh, we used the action but uh, we gave it a hash because we don't have the backend to uh, to refer it to it, but uh, the, uh, the the action attribute defines the action to be performed when the, the form is submitted. Now, basically, the form elements there are quite many. You have the input, we have just used two among among many. You have the input, we have used the input in that the labels, but we also have others. Oh, of course, we have used also the button, but we also have others like a text area. By the way, let me show you for text area. Now, for text area, guys, how do you go about that? Or uh, basically, let me talk about other stuff. Um, I wanted to quit this section, but uh, there's some things that I need to uh, to add it here. And so, um, so after maybe these are CSS, you might also want to to tell the users to uh, maybe add in other information. So let me use um, H H3, perhaps H3. And then here, let me see uh, any any other information. Any other information? So this one is a H3, H, uh, H3. And then I let me close. So in this one, guys, uh, you might also want to add in the text area where they can type in the, 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 the you know, their content. So you can say, for example, um, basically the code or the tag is a text area, text area. And then uh, it has the start tag and. Uh, uh, basically it's uh, it, it has the start tag and also the end tag text area text area you can um, you can uh, give it even the, uh, the 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 width and all that perhaps let me just um text area perhaps name name you can give it the name perhaps uh, perhaps let me say for example the name perhaps i can give it um perhaps let me say message and then uh, here I can say what, uh, uh, let me say, uh, let me say coding, coding is interesting, right? I think coding is quite fun. So of course you can also add in the styling. Remember by default it is gonna be small. You might want to specify the sizes and all that. Let me just, you know, uh, refresh. So guys, I basically can see, um, Perhaps let me add in the break tag so that it may not, um, uh, it may not do it. It may not be in line like this. Uh, so what I do is, um, uh, let me just, 
and let me just do it add in the break tag and of course guys are here it should be after the this one should be after this one let me just press it there and then i use the break tag br the break tag like this so uh guys uh, uh so you can see how it looks like it looks like so basically the text area box is quite small unless you re you resize so what you do uh guys you can specify the width and the height and also lock the so that people cannot you know do this uh, it's not this one is not professional to adjust the box for yourself so um so you might want to do that let's specify the width so i'll add in the style first of all internal css inline css style then i'll assign here to um width width i'll give it uh width i'll give it width i can give it even something like even 200 pixel pixel and then a uh, colon and then uh, the height the height or height height then i can give it here uh, 600 perhaps a pixel like this and then uh, let's try to save and see how it will look like so uh, let me refresh and then uh, oh this one is big i should have done the opposite right i should have um, I should have uh, do the opposite right i should give it 200 the width uh, basically 600 the width and 600 and then i uh, here i give it 200 so that at least here should be what should be 200 uh, so i think that this one is uh, more good uh, so guys uh, this one is perfect for me so the default here is uh, is what so the default one is uh of course you can add in uh, i'll talk about these stuff while we will be discussing css but uh, of course you can use um for me i always find it easier to use the placeholder instead of uh, instead of let me just use changer to uh so here placeholder i'll say placeholder placeholder uh not is not here guys so it should be here uh, name um <laughs> of course uh, guys are here i should have uh, assigned you should assign assign here not uh, so here you can also add in the placeholder instead of uh, this uh, stuff let me just uh, cut then add in this uh, property called a placeholder placeholder this attribute then uh, inside it i'll press to add this uh, content here then uh, let me save so instead of uh, uh, those stuffs can be uh, the placeholder placeholder is quite important right i always find it it, it uh, good to use the uh, the placeholder than the, the you know the code the things which can be deleted so you can see now people can enter the name you can select their preferred language and then uh, once they are done they can add in more information and then they can submit and of course you you'll have a link to your backend with that action remember action although we haven't talked about the, the server side but i remember the action uh, is, a, is an attribute where you can uh, define what processes should be taken after the user clicks uh, the, the the submit so basically guys i think um or perhaps let me talk about another type of form called what the uh, the what uh, perhaps the select let me talk about the select guys mm, the select or uh, let me just yeah let me just do that let me just do that guys uh, let me say for example uh, your preferred let me just break this line so that it can be quite um so let me say here uh let me say for example let me use a uh, h3 again h3 h3 and then uh, let me say um your what is your language what is uh the country what is your what is your country of origin of, of origin so this is a title so um h3 i should be first of all then a h3 like this 
So basically in this section you might want to add in the what you might want to add in the you know the select the select um, uh, styles of people that people can select. So how do you go about that? So you say uh, you say you use what you use a uh, um, first of all let's say label. Let me just say a label label and then uh, the label I can give it a label this one is label four. Let me use um, uh, let me use a uh, uh, something like uh, let me say country. This is label for country, and then uh, of course I can say now uh, select your country. Uh, select or uh, let me just say select. Or uh, because uh, let, me, let me just say select your country. Select your country, and then I uh, hear it has the closing tag, of course, the label label and then uh, let me do it let me just uh, do that and then i guess uh, here i can say what i can say now let me say select mm, let me say select uh sorry should be should be inside the the the, the angle brackets so i say select uh select uh select what select select um hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, select you remember it has the start tag and the end tag so it should be it has the end tag so let's uh, say select select like that and then inside the select you have the options right you have the options inside the select you can people can can do it can uh, can uh, do it can uh, opt can select something so let me say uh, option option uh, option uh, then a uh, value value can be something like a let's say uh, say let me say kenya perhaps uh, let me say uh, kenya uh, let me say kenya then uh, of course it has what the closing tag of course also here the label should be kenya here actually the name then i uh, here say what i'll close let me say uh, let me say uh, it's not really should be option option like this and then what i do guys let me just try to to make several uh, let me make several then uh, here let me just say usa usa china uh, here let me just say nigeria then uh, here let me use uh, india let me say India. So um, I should do the same here. USA. Uh, here should be China. China. Then uh, here should be Nigeria. Nigeria. And then uh, lastly should be something like uh, this should be India, right? India. Uh, India. And then. Um, and so uh, so let me save and see how it will look like right so uh, you can see now people can select their country select your country then i uh, have this option people can select for example if, if it's china um and then out of you but i guess i basically don't see the importance of this stuff let me just try to delete because um, uh, uh, it's not not a professional uh, that way so let me save then uh, let me just you know uh, so people can just select easily and then uh, uh, fill in the information then i do it submit uh, so guys uh, before i talk about something else perhaps let me talk about the input type we have several input types like in this case we can we have just used the text we have just used the text um uh, the text check boxes and also we used to at um, radio button somewhere so but we have others we have many you have the input can be color people can select color people can select date time uh, you can select email the type can be email do that perhaps let me just show you that um, so for the input type so i can say for example uh, so for example let me just use um 
uh, the password password right let me just say uh, password let me use a password because this one is most common uh, hmm. name then uh, it, i think it follows it always follows the name after the name then uh, perhaps i can say uh, password right let me just use a password here then uh, let me just say um, or uh, let me just delete this one and then uh, change it to username i think username is um, uh, it is uh, more more good so it will be labeled for let me change it to username username of course guys i will have many type of input then uh label this one is gonna be labeled for username user username like this username a uh, username and then at the type here is gonna be username right um so basically the type of course the type should be text it should be text not username and then of course here the name uh, can be for example uh basically the 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 id can be username 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 and then at the name can be username then the placeholder can be enda and what and a username user username 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 like that you think yeah so um of course i think we should have the break target it's there so um i don't know how to scroll here it's, it's difficult for me then uh, here guys i can say what i can say uh let's now for password for password i can say for example um uh let me say label let me what i do guys uh, let me just duplicate this stuff let me copy then i here i'll do it i'll uh, just paste it there then i uh, here it will be the label for password so i can just even use a pwd 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 and then uh, what is um and so here is gonna be uh the password so basically i'll change it to password password and then uh what is uh <laughs> the password and then uh here also of course we shall change uh, the the type uh, the type here is gonna be password password and then uh it's gonna be the id can be pw d p w d p w d and then uh, name also can be p w d p w d and of course it's not a good practice to to add the placeholder for a password let me just remove this section and then uh, let me just uh, you know uh, refresh and then now guys you can see now we have the username part people can enter the name the username then at uh, the password you can see now when i type it it is not displaying the at the type here so uh, basically this is just one type of the input and then uh, yeah so of course you can also add in other other attributes like a required name so that uh, when people try to submit it tells them that uh, you must uh, fill the, the name perhaps if, if it's password they must enter the password so you must add in that decoration somewhere so what i do for example um you can add in for example at the end where 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 you, the username uh for so for example uh this uh input type let me say required or uh, where are the password password here yeah, let me just say add in required required decoration and of course let me just add in somewhere else as uh, like um the username here <laughs> i can add in here at the end it is required so people cannot uh, escape it for example if i want to submit of course let me see now if i want to submit and i have not filled those sections for example let me just delete this part and then i try to submit uh, so um you can see it says uh please fill this input field so you can see people cannot submit unless they have uh, filled that section now uh, also for or uh, let's try with the part without the and then any you can see it say fill out this field so basically that decoration is quite some important sometimes so that people cannot escape uh, those uh, sections of course you can also add in the 
you know, a validation form of validation and many other things. But I shall talk about this while we'll be handling the back end. So, guys, I think in a nutshell, this is all about the forms. You shall talk, we shall, you can find the reference on the website. But still, remember, still, I'll have the CSS part. Of course, I'll repeat everything here because CSS is all about styling the HTML document. So, you must have the HTML document. So, I'll repeat everything in CSS. Now, for reset, guys, I think it's just uh, let me just copy. And then I here I'll duplicate and then apart. Let me just add it there and then apart. Let me say um, mm -hmm. so here the type is gonna be now instead of a, a submit it's gonna be a reset. Reset. Then the value is gonna be reset, 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 reset information. So and then I try to click uh, reset and see if it will work. Let me just click on it then i guess you can see it clears everything so again let me try again and then uh, let me just say uh, let me say coding is important important like this and then uh, uh, of course let me add in the password something like that and then uh, uh any information now you can see when i click on the reset you'll find that it will clear everything here so let me click on the reset and then you can see it it clears everything i think let me try to zoom in. I'm not sure if you are able to see. But let me just use this one because it's near the reset button because when I zoom in, it hides other stuff. So guys, you can see when I click on reset, it clears everything. So uh, guys, I shall talk about the forms in details later. Uh, so guys, uh, basically, um, to draw stuff involves a lot of JavaScript uh, and uh, I'm assuming you are beginners. So it's not, a good, it's not a good idea to complicate you with the uh, uh, in-depth stuff. But I shall talk about it while we will be discussing JavaScript. In the meantime, guys, let me just talk about the multimedia. <laughs> First of all, what is multimedia? Uh, basically, multimedia comes in many different formats. It can be almost anything you can hear or see, like images, music, sounds, videos, records, films, animation, and more. So basically, um, you can load the videos. You can load uh, anything on the browser so guys are basically those are kind of uh, medias so for example perhaps um uh, for 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 audios where can i find uh, an audio guys um because i want to show or a video or a video guys i want to display a video let me just get somewhere where i can get a video can i use unsplash unsplash or let me say free video free video free video uh, free videos uh, or uh, let me just uh, click on this uh, section so that I can just uh, download any video even if it has you know the corporate content or uh, what have you but uh, the, the thing here I just want to show you how to apply uh, how you can display the images so what uh, this is an image right uh -huh. I want to have an image which is people can tell is an image let me just use this guy let me download this one. Uh, wait, this one needs me to subscribe. Let me just find another one. Let me just say free video, free video, or free video graphic downloads. Then um, I can use that. Uh, is it a pixel? Let me just try this this one, this website. I don't know if uh, uh, these images are of pictures. Yeah, it is. It is an image yeah 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 it's an image so let me just download in the same what in the same uh, folder where my html perhaps let me let me rename perhaps let me just call it vid 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 like that then uh, let me just you know uh, uh, let me cut and then i place it at the desktop uh, basically where my html data is then uh, let me just place it there now let me show you how you can uh, how can I add in into your html a video so guys, to add it to your HTML, uh, you can do it. You can um, uh, you can uh, do this. Perhaps uh, let me just show you. To add it to your video, you just use the video tag. Uh, the video tag. Perhaps guys, let me just remove this uh, line of course because I don't want to tackle it now. So you just say, for example, um, 
uh, you know. Um, so for example, let me just uh, add in something here so that you can uh, see how it looks like. So um, so what I do is uh, let me just um, show you how you can add an image. So basically to add in an image, you have to specify, you have to use the video tag. A video tag like this, video video it has the start tag and also it has the end tag so end tag video and then uh, you do close you do close and then now uh, and the next thing is that uh, you have to specify the width you can specify the width the default width here so you just say it is inside this uh, should be an attribute so you say width you can assign here to for example let's say let's be, try with uh, 400 400 um uh, 400 then uh what is um let's add in the controls how do you add uh, basically the control to pause to to stop and uh, to increase the sound or to mute so those are example of controls so i can say for example controls controls like this and then also um you can specify now the source uh, source um uh, so okay so i can specify the source here of the video perhaps let me just say um hmm, 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 hmm. so source is gonna be crc crc and then i'm gonna assign here to uh let me assign here to um you know uh, uh it's gonna be um hmm, 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 hmm. Uh, so the video is gonna be the source actually the source is gonna be let me just find the file name I don't let me find the file name guys uh, let me just uh, copy find uh, it is at the desk, desktop in HTML then uh, this one is um, mp4 mp4 right vid dot mp4 so it is uh, vid dot mp4 vid dot mp4 and then now uh, uh, so uh, basically so what i do let me just you know um, uh, so the type also you have to add in the type here so let me say type type or you just have to specify this one so uh, so the type here can be uh, video you can say video forward slash and then uh, the type of the video it is mp mp4 like that so let me just try to run and see how it will look like so to my browser let me just try to refresh and see so as okay, so you can see now i have uh, this video i can play it has the controls now let's try without the controls guys and you'll see how it will look like let me just remove the controls and then uh, let me just remove and then uh, let me save and then uh, let me refresh so as you can see it will be a video with, with no controls you don't know where to play you don't know how to nini so it is a good idea to use these uh, controls so um, ensure that you have the controls then now uh, this way your video will be able to play uh, very well on the browser uh, so guys uh, basically for audio audio you can also do the same uh, you can do the same uh, for audios and then uh, actually for audios can i show you i think for images you 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 know that but uh, for audios uh, audios you can do it you can uh, just the same you apply the same principle like what you used on the videos but uh, here are the source you use what um the 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 image file for videos in the uh, in the in the audios are just the same but uh you only the file part is on so is what changes here but um okay or uh, guys apart let me just show you that let me just find an audio let me say audio audio a free download a free download um so let me get a website where i can download the free audios so that i can use it in this uh, example like uh, let me just download this one i don't know what it is let me just download um hmm. so uh, let me download then uh, guys uh, let me just open the file explorer and uh, place it at the uh, let me just place it at the same direct so that uh, let me just place it at the desktop then at the html then uh, let me just place it there then i can give it i can name it to audio so the name of the file is audio 
now let me show you how you can do it how you can uh, how you can play uh, how you can you can uh, do it mm. so basically the principle apply like what you used in videos let me just delete so uh, here guys what you do let me say audio use the audio tag audio it has the start tag and also the end tag it is audio audio like this uh, remember the end tag must have this the this are what the first slash like that and then uh, what i do here let me just you know uh, create some space here now here you specify for example if you want to add in the audio you just use you can also add in the source source of the audio and then i use crc crc then i can assign here to and the audio file uh, sorry assignment to use the equal operator and then uh, here it is um it is uh what is the name of the audio uh the audio let me just find it there then let me get there it is um audio dot mp3 it is uh, audio dot mp3 mp3 and then uh, what else so you have to add in the type so type type uh, type um you can say what type i can uh, assign here to uh to it is audio audio and it is a uh, mp3 uh, audio is a uh, m mp3 right like this then i always remember to close of course guys i should have added, added the controls here so let me just add in controls so let me say controls uh, let me add in controls uh, let me add in the controls uh, so guys uh, basically this is the end of the html full course and i really appreciate you very much for uh, making it to the end and uh, guys, uh, I see a lot of uh, other content like uh, the HTML APIs. Some some needs JavaScript, including even the 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 the, the graphics needs a lot of JavaScript. So I think I've just you know decided not to teach those content because uh, I don't want to make it harder for you. Just stick to this uh, basic HTML content. Of course, we shall talk about them while we'll be discussing uh, JavaScript. But uh, for now. Uh, this is for you, and I guess you are now a very, very uh, a skilled person in HTML, and uh, this is very, very fundamental, especially any web developer or anyone that aspires to be a web developer must, first of all, learn uh, HTML. But for you, you have learned, so I celebrate with you, I congratulate you guys, and uh, now please subscribe, and also you can share it to your friends so that we may educate very many people. And um, subscribe, guys, like the video. Until next time, this is Nehemiah. Goodbye.